We're live, dude. Wow. Live. Live from the compound, dude. From my motherfucking basement, Live dude. from Matt McCusker's basement. You wish basement. we were live from the compound, dude? No, no, no. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> yes, dude, we're here. <laughs> yeah, dude, what you think of my fucking studio? Your studio is tight. This rug's nice. The yeah. couch, I'm seeing the couch where you did the volcano. Yep. Uh, where you're doing very important Spud, studying Spud and did it meditating. Too. Spud got high as fuck, too. Mm-hmm. He explored his consciousness. <laughs> Spud, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did a TAC like, deep dive, dude. I've seen Spud do my program too. He doesn't handle it well. Which ones? What's that? that? Bud Light programs. You think he bugs? He bugs out. He of was Bud upset Light? that the turd had bay. Remember that? When, uh, when was uh, this? He, he saw helium. He, he was at helium and he saw. Oh, the, I was so fucking the turd funny. with his bay. The, when when Spud sees the turd, it's not good. They it's are a glimpse into like what could be. Well, it's like Spider-Man versus the Goblin, dude. It really is. They're nemeses. They are. They're like hard arch nemeses. Except they're both goblins. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying to think which one's Spider-Man. Spud might be Sp- Spider-Man. <laughs> I think it's Spider-Man. That's how you dude. say it with a Philly it's accent. Spider-Man in the fucking... It's like water. <laughs> water. Sputter-Man. Sputter-Man the fucking turtling, dude. <laughs> turtling is nuts, dude. Just surfing around, getting toots. <laughs> What's up? That was yeah, the first time the fucking Spud met Okani's. He's like, oh, fucking Okani's has Bay? Dude, he also has Bay? <laughs> like, punched a wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's up, dude? Chilling, dude. Yeah. I've just been living that pot pie life, dude. I saw you just crushing, stand, crushing pot pies. Standing in the kitchen, <laughs> scarfing pot pies. Yeah, man. That was tight. It's that, t- it's that time in a relationship when my bae makes me a pot pie. Pot pies are so good. I've been asking for pot pie for like a year. Yeah, Finally you, you never get them. it. Nobody ever gets you pot pie. Not No one makes you a pot pie. My, although recently I did have pot pie this year. My family had it in the fridge. Leftovers. Ooh, we have some, ooh. Bro. I put a hurting on cold pot pie. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing else to do. Just kept scooping in it. Yeah. No, no, nobody politely eats at pot pie. No. I was eating pot pie thinking about the inception of it. It must have been the most ridiculous fucking invention. It's up there. Some dude being like, I made a pie. Like, What's in it? He's like, soup. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's good. People just came by like, there's fucking soup in this pie? Because that was a big deal. They were stoked. A, pie was like once a year. Yeah. So people probably went for dessert, and they're like, what the hell? I'm eating double dinner. Like tarnation? <laughs> There's peas in the pie? <laughs> got peas and chicken in it's it? has got me eating double dinner. Yeah, like, man. Leave it alone. He's worked hard at that pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I had a whole fucking, in my head, I had a whole fucking dialogue between like a settler family. We're too close. This, this, this setup down here is uncomfortable. You're too close? We're too, you and I are I can ba- I can back close. up to my, I have another, my, de- my desk is L-shaped. I, don't I like could f- not face you at all. The eye contact we make during the podcast makes me uncomfortable. I could not face you I at thought, all. I think about kissing you. Do you know that? I could sit over here and just totally not face you at all. Do you know that? Did you hear what I said? <laughs> you want to kiss me? I think about kissing your mouth. We should kiss, dude. Ew. So we can't do a podcast in kissing range. No, it's too much. True. I get boned up. Chemistry is too fucking. This chemistry podcast too much. sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's going on? Chill, man. Just, uh, what the fuck do I have going on? We got to get a new dog walker or new dog sitter. Ours. Uh, Why? I hate to say it, dude. Ours was in the dog sitting game for the wrong reasons. What's that? Just for the money. Oh, you need somebody who loves the canine. Yeah, exactly. She was she was mad. She's like, wait, the dogs are going to sleep in bed with me? And I was like, we were already in Florida. And I was like, uh, yeah, that's what they do. Don't you love dogs more than anything? <laughs> I think she was in it for the money. It was on your profile that you love dogs. I mean, dude, I figured any dog walker, any dog sitter, I feel like it was like automatically assumed. Like, I don't yeah. know. It could be like a Caesar Milan type thing where it's like you need to instill some discipline. <laughs> you think she was Caesar yeah, Milan? She could have been pissed that you like. She was probably like, I can't believe anybody would treat dogs with this level of like you're doing the dogs a disservice that by letting might them be. just run, run wild walk, all yeah. over you. Yeah, it also might be why Those she... Those dogs are bad. Your dogs are bad. She walked them separately, too. As soon as I walked in, Jax humped me. <laughs> Did he really? Immediately. <laughs> and then Matt Matt tried to bring the dogs down here while we're recording this. And I, as soon as you're like, all right, let's see. One strike and you guys are out. I was just like, it's gonna. the strike's coming right away. right away. And immediately they started humping and fighting. <laughs> Got kicked out. <laughs> They're on the third floor right now. They're not. They didn't do. They didn't handle it well. I, they haven't handled. They haven't handled anything well. When anyone's been down here, they failed every single test. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I fantasize about being someone who have a dog. It's like, ah, oh, it's my old dog. Just lays in the corner. If someone comes in here, it's like they hump them. They get on top of them. They like bite each other. It's, it's a yeah. fucking nightmare. Well, she also walked them separately. She's like, I didn't know how to walk them at the same time. I'm like, what? 
I don't, I don't like this lady. Yeah, like, where'd you come up with this? She a white? Mm-mm. Mm. What, what do you got to say about that? Uh, nothing. What do you got to say? Why, why, what ta- what's your bra- why is your brain take you there? It sounds like a white lady job. Of uh, dog sitting? Yeah. Never thought of it that way. Interesting. Never didn't even think that there would be African-American dog sitters. Wasn't African-American, bro. Whoa. You continue. Who was it? It's an engine. An engine? <laughs> <laughs> wait, you, you, the wait. Cla- no, like in the classic sense. No, no, no. The classic sense is a Native American. No, in the classic sense, well, Columbus had it wrong. Okay. Dude, are you celebrating Thanksgiving this year? Yo, you, you know I better am. fucking you not, know dude. I am. You are? I celebrated Columbus Day. I celebrate the fuck out of Thanksgiving. I'm going to get Day. kicked out of my family dinner again. I'm going to start just fucking double. You got to protest. I'm going to start smashing everything, dude. You got to protest. Uh, dude, I'm going to fucking freak out. Like the kids at uh, Harvard, Yale. Do you see that? No, they During don't. During the football game at halftime, all the, the student body went out and protested uh, climate change. So they just ruined, they just sat at midfield. And for, the game got climate? delayed like four hours. They took a knee? They protested climate change. Did they watch the rest of the game? The game, yeah. I mean, I think it was a good game. I think it went to overtime. <laughs> People were like, yeah, hell oh, yeah. Yeah, so they pro- yeah. protested climate change and then were like, all right, back to the game. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's... I, I just don't understand protesting climate change at halftime of a football game. Like, why is football now the like the end all be all for like why is, is this like the public discourse arena? It makes sense. Football that people like football. That's true. So it's a good place to be like, hey, it's getting warm out. Yeah, keep that in mind. We're gonna fucking we're gonna ruin this game. We're gonna sit on the field. We're gonna sit on the field because it's getting warm. We tell you if the NFL just extended the season for like twelve more games. Yeah. Like, well, we can play well in the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. But yeah, that uh, that's weird, that's man. That's all right. Well, it's all right. it's it's good, you know. It's good they're out there doing that kind of thing. It's just like I'm just it's trying just to think. College, it's college kids. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the bottom it just line. Sucks. Imagine going to a game and like being like, I'm gonna just go out at midfield and oh, sit there. Cause thinking I, about you drive. Well, I'm thinking about you driving to go see a game and then being delayed oh, for four oh, hours. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god, dude! If it, if I had driven ten hours to like a Notre Dame game and yeah. then at halftime. Students sat on the field because of global warming. I'd, I don't know. You might counter protest. Yeah, I'd get some aerosol cans, just spray them. You might get some. <laughs> I'd go. I'd go start my car and come back in. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting to see how many get causes we can attach to the NFL. I want to see how long. Well, they got like... breast cancer, police brutality. Yeah, uh, the they love the troops. Of course, you see those camo fucking yeah. sleeves they wore. Yeah, that was tight. They do that. Um... Domestic violence had a good run there because the players were getting uh, rowdy. That was pretty appropriate. Ray Rice is getting rowdy. Yeah, it was pretty appropriate. Which was, is funny they did that for Ray Rice and not OJ. I think OJ's domestic violence would have been a little more like, hey, we should say something to the, <laughs> <laughs> the public. <laughs> did he really cut someone's head off? Just about. Did he really? Yeah. He like almost sawed their fucking heads off. Oh, my God. He got loose. He was oh out of control. God. Oh, my God. He was fired up. Yeah, I guess they felt like they missed that one. The NFL, the NFL slumbered on that. It was back yeah. before people had to make statements. The owner of the NFL was like caught in a statement, being like, "What the fuck? <laughs> Jews killed his wife." <laughs> yeah, they. Yeah, nobody had to make statements. No. Now you have to, dude. You, we are deeply it's a saddened. Shitty time to be a CEO. We are deeply I mean, saddened by. Uh, you don't have to pay taxes, but you do have to make statements. True. Which, that should be the trade-off. If you want these corporations to start paying taxes. Just be like, you don't have to make any more statements. Yeah, you guys can do whatever you guys Never want. again. We're never going to yeah. ask you how many women you have working at Google. Just pay taxes. <laughs> Just pay the fucking taxes. Just help us pay for women's health care. That's fair. That way we don't have to worry about, are women good at math? That's pretty fair. That seems to be the, like, we need to figure out, can women be good at, you know, STEM? Yeah, you know science, yeah, math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Science, technology, and math. Stam. <laughs> Stam. <laughs> Stam. <laughs> I'm good at none of those. I, I'm, I'm fucking... I'm actually a, a brilliant scientist. No, you're not. You I'm think, a theoretical. You think getting high is I'm running a, a fucking... <laughs> 
control Did you tremble experiment. before the volcano? The volcano is right in front of me. It's I've, intimidating. I hate these fucking things. Why do you hate that? That's a miserable creation. What, the volcano? A volcano? That thing sucks, dude. Smoking out of a volcano just... Rip a volcano is bag. Is a negative experience. Rip a volcano bag and talk shit. If I rip a volcano bag, I'm sleeping <laughs> right there for three days, dude. I'm going to be Jesus in the tomb. <laughs> so what else is going on? Uh, Nothing. Nothing. I was listening to... It was nice. I got a little more of the French Revolution. Dude, the podcast, the Revolutions podcast is so long. It's really? so long. I'm listening to French Revolutions. There's like 36 episodes. And it's not, he doesn't, he just gives you facts. There's no, like, there's no, he's not Carlin mm-hmm. where he's like, this is this. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> this is like just a guy reading like, this is what they did. Just the facts. Yeah. So this is like the Corbett report opposed to Alex Jones. Yes. Okay. Yes, gotcha. Colbert giving you straight Not facts. Not Colbert, Corbett. 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 It's What's It's the that? Corbett report. What's that? It's just a guy who rambles the facts. Oh, okay. There's no, like, Alex, Alex Jones goes like, Alex Jones goes more over the top, I would say. Yeah, but he's Corbett, a bit of a showman. He's just a big showman. Corbett is yeah. just the facts. Not Colbert, Corbett. Which is funny because their names are, like, close enough where I'm sure people are like, I want to see what this Colbert is all about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Some dude's like, they actually never killed Baghdadi. He's been killed 17 <laughs> times. He's not real. Like, uh, Okay. Yeah, My, yeah. The uh, I don't know. French Revolution is pretty fun to listen to. What pretty they, wild. What they get up to? They just uh, <clears throat> they really acted like a bunch of pussies. The revolutionaries, like uh, there was just they they just really overreacted. They fucking they they could it was they they needed to do it gradually and they freaked out. They went too far. And they're like we're fucking liberal. Damn. We don't need fucking religion. And this is like, like we don't need kings or religion and all that shit. And they kind of, and they just got out of control. They started, Whoa. they all started beheading each other. Tight. They turn eventually. They like it, it's a argument to see who's the most like revolutionary. Would you be able to maybe plug that into modern day times? Yes. It'd be a who's Very the most woke. easily. They just called it revolutionary yeah. instead. I mean, one one of the things that's really funny I hate is fucking kings. They had this. Uh, this meeting, basically their Senate got together and it was like in the wake of like revolution was happening. Mm-hmm. So the Senate got together to be like, here's the changes we need to make. And they thought it was going to be like kind of moderate compared to what, it, but everybody kept one upping each other to be more like, well, the, you know, no more fucking, uh, there's one thing they had was Royal hunting grounds. So like only the Lords or Kings could hunt. Like it, it, only the the master of that land was allowed to hunt on it. Peasants mm-hmm. peasants could never hunt. Yeah, you could get killed if you were yeah. hunting on there. And so one one of the priests got up and changed that. One mm-hmm. of the bishops got on and was like, "We got to get rid of that." And one of the lords loved hunting, so he was like, "Well, fuck that." Uh, also, paying tithes is unfair, and we shouldn't do that anymore. And the bishop had to be like, "Yeah." Fuck! <laughs> I just lost all of my money because I took away hunting. I just lost all my power. Yeah. And they, they, yeah. Then they started taking land from the church. Then they took, like, they just, it just got damn. They got wild, man. So these were people vying for the attention of the peasants, being like, "I'm rich, no, but no, I'm no. one of the, the cool peasants, rich ones." The peasants, I don't think gave. Like, I mean, they cared, but they yeah. were they didn't give a fuck. This is all like Parisian cunts. Oh, this is them fighting it's each other. It's funny that I don't like these revolutions. Well, they aren't very likable. Yeah. It's fun like and there's paintings and stuff of like how glorious and cool this revolution was of like women leading the charge. Was and like they ended up just cutting everyone's fucking heads off and then Napoleon. Yeah. Like they just shit the bed and then Napoleon burned Europe. Was there so you're telling me there's people like hundreds of years ago who painted had pictures painted of them protesting? Yes. Like Facebook profile pictures. Yes. <laughs> With a French flag too. That's oh, funny. that's so fucking yeah. funny. Yeah, we've done this before. They support France, so they were like they stayed. They stood with France. Yeah, oh, that's so tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so fucking funny. Which, uh, yeah, the, it's just the whole thing is like, mm-hmm. it's scary to listen to. Kind of. I mean, not that I think we're going through that, but you can see where that cycle came from. You can go through baby versions of it, though. Yeah, I mean, we yeah, don't yeah, have exactly. the guillotine, but yeah. it's like, what do we have instead of the guillotine? It's just the fucking. The press, dude. I got guillotine, yeah, exactly, dude. They dude. drug me out in the town square and <laughs> cut my fucking head off, dude. Yeah, that is funny, though. The idea of going for people's jobs now is like... That's as close as you can get to a... Killing someone, Just yeah. a, yeah. It's like, well, I'll destroy their livelihood. And it's like, yeah. fuck yeah, dude. Destroy their livelihood and shame them. Yeah. It's pretty... Uh, 
But yeah, the 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 imagine like the fucking parliament that meeting they had where they all just kind of lost control and they like he described it as like a feverish like well we should also get rid of this and they're like yeah and then this and then they all woke up like the next day like ooh, we went a little too hard on that fuck we just changed our entire country in one (laughs) meeting (laughs) fuck so it was pretty disastrous pretty disastrous it's also funny like the king and queen kept trying to like escape they got like they got like they were like held hostage in king philip it was king louis king louis excuse king me. louis louis and marie antoinette oh right and right. everybody didn't like marie antoinette because she was a hua and she was austrian so they didn't really like her the french didn't like her so they were excited to fucking get her on the guillotine they'd been waiting for that they heard she was that must piss you off if you're queen First of all, if your queen's Austrian, yeah, that'll piss me. That piss yeah, well, me they off. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, they had been like at wars with Austria forever. Call me what you will, dude, but I do not like Austrian fucking royalty. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I I'll stand be will, against. I'll be willing to throw that out. I'll throw my hat in the ring on that. Yeah, Austrian royalty. Austrian it royalty boils my blood. Pisses dude. me the fuck I get, off. But yeah, and then they're being slutty too. It's slutty Austrian. Now you're slapping royalty? me in the fucking face, dude. I support that. Yeah. How did? What did they? Didn't they like hang her by her nipples or something? Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 and she came. <laughs> They're like, "This is this will teach this slut a lesson." And then they hung her, and she was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep doing it." Yeah. <laughs> so they, the king, get out. No, they got. It. Oh they, yeah, he got they, the everybody head. got. It. They got the kid. <laughs> they got everybody, bro. So everybody. Marie Antoinette got guillotined. Well, they kept trying to escape, which was really funny, and they couldn't do it. They always fucked up. They all fucked up. Everybody's retarded in the story. <laughs> Everyone across the board just fucks up nonstop. Did they like go? Did they do like the classic like cloak in the middle? They of the tried night? to. They tried to have like servants dressed as them go out. At, oh. They had one guy. This was a good idea for King Louis to escape. They had a guy dressed as like this diplomat coming in and out every night of the palace, just mm-hmm. as wearing a ridiculous outfit. Sure. Every night, and then finally it was Louis the last night, and he it got out. But then Marie Antoinette fucked up, and they couldn't. They had to cancel that attempt. But so the she, whole would thing. She called him back, like. So they were in Versailles. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> yeah, she just like uh, I, th- I don't know. There's a lot to it. Yeah. She ran into Lafayette on the way out. Got scared. Was late. There's a they, there was no communication. Oh, so he couldn't leave. They had, he got he the left separate point. than her, and then she so was he late. Was gone. Louis was out. He was like, we, "Fuck yeah, we did it. We can get out of this fucking uh, shitty country." And then his bay was, I don't know. I fucking was late. What? <laughs> it's like, God damn, we're gonna get our fucking heads cut off. You gotta fucking get out of here. Oh, so you're blaming this on me? This, oh, so it's my fault again? <laughs> it's like, yes, dude. I was outside. I didn't know you're fucking Austrian. Get us fucking killed. Uh. That yeah, sucks. Dude. There's also a dude named Lafayette. <laughs> Lafayette, that's a fucking man. What would he do? He uh, he he was part of the American Revolution. He like was boys with Washington. He came over to help mm-hmm. with that, and then he was like the head. I mean, he was in the French Revolution too. Did they do that to strictly Pretty piss sick. the English off? Help us? Not to piss them off, but to beat them. To be like fuck you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be like at war. Like yeah. That's tight. Yeah. Do you think the English may have fucking popped down and been like, yo, you guys, you know what you guys need? Just fucking, cutting the fucking yeah. heads off of them? No, because they have a monarchy. Gotcha. They gotcha. had one too at the time, so they were a little like, right? They didn't. They weren't too happy about the French Revolution. <laughs> the king was like, "Holy shit, what are they doing down there? <laughs> They're cutting their fucking heads off." He's probably doing new but law. Yeah. He's like, "New law, you guys can't cut my fucking head off, dude. I'll cut your fucking <laughs> yeah. head off." It's a fun. It's it's fun to listen to like really imp- like cool historical things that. Just ends with people getting their fucking heads cut off. It's like awesome. It's funny that it all just divulges into just like, oh yeah, and then we just fucking killed everyone. I dude, I just love how it all starts with like a couple people were in a bar and be like, you know what's fucking bullshit? Always, yeah, like a beer hall. Somebody stands on a table and is like, <laughs> I'm not paying this fucking salt tax. It's just <laughs> that conversation ends with some guy cutting a lady's head off in a square. Ah. Some dude puts a hot status in the beer hall and everyone's yeah, like, dude. fuck yeah, dude, fuck yeah. <laughs> they they would really like. They they would cut people's fucking heads off and like parade them around town. <laughs> That's fucking rules. It's dude. crazy. That's so funny. You walk around like, yeah, yeah we got that motherfucker. Like, Fuck they yeah. They did it like to guards. They would just oh. capture two guards, cut their heads off, and run around. Was it was the guillotine new? I think so. That must have been tight. I think so. It's been tight when they came Could out. There's new and new, newer yeah. and newer issues of them. Like, did you see that? Yeah, new guillotine? they were using the guillotine recently in France. Not yeah, like they, not like they now, but they would like execute prisoners. That was the death penalty. Yeah, didn't they do that? Like I think in the twentieth century. Yeah, 
which is tight. There was the last guillotine was I think I, think I would go guillotine. Yeah, they the whole the guillotine was also a woke thing. It was like really it's supposed to be like kind of an immaculate clean yeah like humane way to kill somebody. Yeah, who knows? Maybe lethal injection hurts like fuck. Y- yeah, or back then was like whatever the well, fuck. back then yeah I mean firing squad would suck. Yeah, they were like they did. They guess they like just were like you know what? No, it's cool. Mouse traps. Yeah, let's put someone in a fucking yeah, mouse yeah, trap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And then I popped on Carlin came on. Listen to his. He's got a new one against the Japanese. He's still he's on the third one of that. He's still going. Which hard. I feel a little uneasy listening to anymore. Really? <laughs> no. But it was funny. Just uh, they were talking about. He was talking about Pearl Harbor. Yeah. And how like historically it's like one of the dumbest fucking decisions ever. Did like military planners today are like, why would they do that? Well, I mean, obviously hindsight's you know two or, nukes, but still it's funny to just double F. Could have been a double F. No, I, how would it be a false flag? Because they're like, we just want to go attack the Japanese. So we hired the Japanese to attack us? I don't know. N- no. You the think false, someone faked it? It could have been you actors. You can't fake. It could have been actors. You think there was a ja- <laughs> the Japanese Navy was in on it? They're it was, like, just, hey, it we'll was two planes, right? In Pearl Harbor? Yeah. Did you, what? It was two planes that crashed in Pearl Harbor, just one. You could easily fake a Pearl Harbor. Do you think Pearl Harbor was 9-11? I'm saying if you're, say, I'm I'm just throwing it out there. If you're saying that it was didn't make any sense, no, but it was more than two planes. How many was it? Probably like a hundred. Hundred planes and attacked it was the Pearl Harbor. It was the aircraft carriers. I thought it was just like two little prop planes crashed, and everyone was like, "Ah, what the fuck?" <laughs> oh, really? You yeah. thought it was like I thought it two was shitty two, planes? I thought and it was we like, were like, "Oh, we're going to war." Dude. I thought it was like two propeller planes came in. And it was that was it Did was you a, really? Yeah, I swear to God. No, it was. I mean, it was a huge operation. Yeah, they're big planes. Coming. They brought their navy. Damn. Yeah, it was so war. The, their navy pulled up, and then the planes. It was air. For, it was aircraft carriers. Yeah, the big ones. Yeah, they brought the boys out. Fuck. Yeah. So they like totally devastated it. Yeah, if it was two planes, it would have gone almost unnoticed. That's what I was saying. I was like, you wouldn't yeah. even know. It'd be like just could be, that could be anyone flying a shitty plane into like. <laughs> So it was the boys pulled off. They of really went for it. Okay. Which so. is, and it, yeah, it's documented. Gotcha. So now the false flag comes in where did we know they were going to do it? And that's be what like, it was. All right, go ahead. Because there is some weird shit about us taking some ships out of that harbor. Mm-hmm. Some like good ships. I could have. Just happened to not be docked that day. I could have held them off. That not would have held them off, but would have been shitty to, to lose for us. You know? I gotcha. So we like kind of kept some old shitty ships. For them to blow up, yeah, and be like, "Oh, you got us." Well, yeah, it's also weird. Yeah, like back then, people didn't just like overseas, overseas like stealth fly over. There was like a mass of ships coming for probably several days, and I'd imagine the U.S. military was scoping the waterways and being like, "Yo, bro, uh, the Japanese a- navy's on the way." You're like, say what? Yeah, maybe. They yeah, I mean, there was like radio stuff where they would be like, "Oh, fuck, something's happening." Yeah, where are they gonna hit? Oh, the closest island to them? They thought it was going to be around there. Right. Which I think they did get hit, too. Like, Guam and shit like that. But. Who knows? Regardless, I thought it was funny to... Like, I've never heard historians talk about how fucking stupid that was. <laughs> like, because, I, I don't know, for some reason you think of it as, like, an even matchup, the U.S. and Japan mm-hmm. in World War II. But it wasn't. Yeah. It was, like... Yeah, well, that's it was, bad. It was literally just sucker punching the biggest guy in the room. It was just being it was like, sh- oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's still up. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, why did you think you were going to knock him out? Yeah, that, may, that makes sense. It's, I mean, it is tight to roll up with your Navy and be like, what's up, guys? Yeah. Fuck you guys going to do, dude. It's like, dude, don't you know you have like space bombs and shit, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you guys doing? Get yeah, out of here. Fuck you up for this. I mean, they did. Yeah. That was pretty minimal, too. They killed like, what, like, a couple hundred people? Uh, Yeah. Was I mean, it was thousand? probably, yeah. It was in probably like less than 2,000. I right. think. No, it was. Yeah, so they, 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 they about nine eleven. They they hit us with a good nine eleven. All right, so they gave us a classic the f- 9-1-1. First pitch though, it's the good first punch was a nine eleven, and then <laughs> yeah, sit back. Like they were winning up front the first first like year year that two. first that year that we were war? fucking us up. Yeah, yes, yeah, so we were just loading these huge bombs <laughs> yeah, and being like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever yeah, you guys yeah, think yeah. you're doing. Yeah, it sucks. It's about to become a humongous. They were attacking us with like swords and whistles <laughs> and just charging. <laughs> And it was like, all right, well, we're going to just have some, yeah, some like just, Jewish dude build a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have Jews over here that are going to create, they're going to summon their dark lord. Yeah, they're going to fucking unleash the sun on you, dude. Yes. 
Anyway. That's funny. That's it for history for yeah. today. Close it down. Close down that's the history, enough history. files. That's enough history. I'm sorry. That's funny. I was actually researching last night about the potato famine, how it's not a uh, genocide. I was reading the, in the- Who uh, fucking wrote that? Winston Churchill? Uh, no. Who wrote that history? Some <laughs> the Washington cunt. Post. Washington Post claimed the famine was not a genocide. How? How? They were saying that it's- it, Yeah, it's what was their argument? Food blight. Yeah, it was a blight, but then they kept all the other food. Yeah, well, yeah, and wouldn't let people hunt or fish. But that it, it's it, I don't know. I was researching it for who's the author. You got to click the author every time. It's so true. funny to click the author. Yeah. Like whenever there's an article like that, I'm always like, who the fuck wrote? Th- who was invested in debunking someone else's like? Dude, I'm telling you. Uh, uh, sorry, guys, you don't get to claim genocide. Yeah, it was it's weird. It, yeah, they were saying the Washington Post. They were saying uh, they're like, nah. It, the, the title is "It Is Not a Genocide." I'm pretty sure it said, like, sorry. Yep, Ireland's famine wasn't a genocide. The Washington Post archives, 1997. Oh, 97. That was yeah. back when boys could talk shit. Timothy Gwinane. Gwinane. Get him out of I here. I that pick, He's bro. a Protestant, bro. He's a bitch, dude. He's a fucking Protestant. I was curious to talk to you about that, because I'm like, is that fucking, like, conspiracy theory? To be like, yo, that was a fucking potato, potato famine was a genocide. I, no, it's not a conspiracy theory. There was a fucking potato. The f- crop failed, yeah. and then they, the British kept all the other food. This motherfucker. They kept the livestock and grains. <laughs> there were still other fucking plants you could eat and Mike, food. They still had chickens and like livestock, but the I'll, British Empire kept it. I might call this motherfucker right now. Call that bitch, dude. He's a professor of uh, economics at Yale. He's a professor He's at Yale? Yale. I might hit him up. I'm going to call him right now. Oh, you can call? Yeah, yeah, it's fucking... Oh, professors all have their phone number, right? Is a thing. Yeah, call him and say, why'd you say that? <laughs> call him right now. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Put him call? on speaker and call that, dude. I'm going to hit him right now and be like, bro, what's good? What is that bracelet you're wearing? Oh, it's my, uh, my friend gave it to me as a present. What's your problem? They better be dead. They're not dead. All right, well, then take that bracelet off. No. See what t- he looks kind of like Mel Gibson. That's probably why he wrote that, dude. <laughs> he knew Mel was about to run loose. Damn. Of course. Sorry. Tim Ganan is not available. Tim Ganan. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hey, Tim, it's Matt. I saw you wrote that junk in the Washington Post in 97 about the potato famine not being a genocide. I just wanted to, you know, see if you wanted smoke, what was good. Hit me back. You got my digits. Later, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. Fuck that. You can't be talking out your mouth like that, dude. <laughs> <You don't know. laughs> it's probably not the same guy at all. He's going to be pissed, dude. Fuck him, dude. What's he going to do? It's <laughs> just an economics professor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tim, it's Matt. <laughs> you wrote that junk, dude. Yeah, man. I guess... Yeah, are we allowed to just say the guy's name on there and <laughs> call him? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't think you th- there was nothing threatening there. You just said I want to discuss the article you wrote. Yeah, perfectly fine. I told him he wants smoke. Whatever. If he wants smoke, <laughs> there could be smoke. <laughs> we don't know what that means. Exactly. It's a cool word we heard. I hope he fucking calls me back, dude. That'd be so funny. What? 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 Yeah. I didn't write that. I'd be fucking stunts on us. <laughs> yeah, I hope he does. <laughs> Just like, what do you guys know about it? Like, Nothing. <laughs> sorry. Um, I read an article. It was like the the article I chose to read. I scanned all the stuff. That was basically like, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. The one was like, the potato famine was a genocide. dot com. I was like, yeah, clearly this is my source. Yeah, right yeah, here. yeah. dot <laughs> com. <laughs> Damn, that's a good website to make for sure. Dude. Like, it was a genocide. I'm making a website. I'm paying thirty bucks, <laughs> thirty bucks a year to keep this site running. I love for GoDaddy to call and be like, uh, "Hi, we're checking in on your hyperlink. The potato famine was a genocide." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mine. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah go ahead. What's wrong? I'm still doing some stuff with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had me hype last night. Yeah, why? Uh, you were just researching the potato famine. Yeah, I have a book. Um, what the fuck? I think the guy who wrote Schindler's List also wrote a book about the Irish. So I, I was at, I've been hitting used bookstores pretty hard. Nice. And that he wrote a Schindler's List style book about it was like one of those big fat books that goes like multi generational. Nice. He, uh, so I was like, like damn. A Schindler's dude. List about Irish during the potato like what? Some guy had food. Yeah, pretty much. Like feed started trying to feed them. I don't know. I don't know what happens. You don't want to feed them. 
the well, Irish during the potato famine. That's like giving like a like a raccoon some food. They're subhuman. You dude. turn the fucking backlight on. There's nine hundred of them. <laughs> it's like oh fuck, there's too many. Well, that was the, apparently they were accusing them of being sluts. They're like the Irish are disgusting sluts. Because that was the problem. They had too many kids and they were lazy. That's what everyone was saying about the Irish. Yeah. They're like, they're too many kids. They're fucking lazy. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Six. Yeah, it's too many. Or one of six. Gross. True. And I'm pretty fucking lazy. I'm real lazy. <laughs> I wish my ancestors never got off that island, dude. Me too. My horrible fucking bloodline should have perished in that fucking famine. The English were right, dude. The English were right. They're like, these fucking assholes. The English are assholes. They're like they're these. gonna suck too. They're the same thing. That, that is the, that is the, the same that thing. is the funny part. The distance between them. It'd <laughs> be like us fight. It'd be like Pennsylvania <laughs> arguing with people from Ohio and being like, "Well, they're shitty." It's like, no, know. you're the same thing. You guys are literally the, the same it, thing. It, I was thinking PA versus New Jersey. Yeah, it's like, the, the same fucking thing. beach sucks, dude. Yeah, like fuck you, dude. <laughs> you just talk different. That's it. Yeah, some bullshit. We should shut down all the Baskin Robbins in New Jersey. True. Or, or just like taint the Baskin Robbins. Like we're in control of all the charcoal pits, all the Capitol grills. No, they, we got to confiscate their Wawa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you guys, nope, you can't have these. Only Wawa lords, only one lord of only the land. Only lord can, have the, <laughs> can hunt the Wawa. Um, yeah, buddy. But That's other, sick, other you called that, that guy. Yeah, dude, you know. If you're going to talk shit like that. I'm going to call him every day till he gives me an answer. I might roll, I have his fucking office. I might roll up and be like, bro, what's good? Yeah, just that. You know how I mean, easy it would be for me to get a bunch of fucking dudes from Kensington and be like, guys, here's what we're doing today. We're going to go to this motherfucker's address, bro. Talk shit. I'm going to show up just like the Haitians do to Hillary Clinton. Same thing. What do they do? The Haitians roll up on Hillary Clinton all the time. Damn, that sucks for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, dude. Just Haitians bothering you all the time because <laughs> of the atrocities you committed? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that is quite the enemy, dude. Fuck. And people from Haiti coming up and protesting you. I was like, what the fuck are they so mad about? And you're like, don't look into don't it. Don't even bro. ask. Don't look into it. It's so fucked up. Don't look into it. Yeah. Also, too, I mean, that would be. That I wonder would, how true all that Clinton Foundation stuff is. I mean, dude, if you have Haitians coming in fucking. The Haitians, maybe they got tricked online. I don't know. You think they read about it? If you were Haitian, you'd be pissed. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. If you read about that, you'd be ticked. No, they were fucking. They, their family called them and was just like, bro. Yeah. She fucking fucked my kids. And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what should I do? And like, I don't know, dude. Go fucking. Here's her address. Go yeah, fucking just go yell her. at her. Go fucking scream at her. It's probably a bunch of dudes with belts, dude, ready to fucking slap her, dude. They're probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. What What were some of the crimes, allegedly? Uh, There was a. So allegedly there was a. Where the place was affected by all like the earthquakes and her, all that shit that hit it. There was a textile mill built in the part that wasn't affected, and like no one ever fixed any of the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just went down and built factories with the money. <laughs> they built factories with the money on the parts that weren't affected, and then there was people in trucks who would just pull, up, who would just literally drive around and then fly away. And then like apparently they they looked in the Clinton Foundation, they were just billing the Clintons like we did survey, and they never built anything in the places where they did. Apparently they did, they just didn't build that much shit, and for all the money, it doesn't add up. Allegedly. Oh, that's it. I thought there was darker and then, shit. And then a Clinton aide was caught smuggling children out of Haiti. <laughs> and then people were like, what the fuck are you doing? And then the Clinton's like, no, 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 she's cool, she's cool. She's Why cool. do they love kids? I don't know, dude. It's, I it, don't think they love kids. I think the conspiracy is that the elites are fucking kids. I think the elites I don't think do that's fuck true. kids, though. I think that's always been a peasant's mindset about the elites. No, I'm pretty sure the like, elites, That's elites. like what they used to say about the Jews. They'd be like, the Jews drink the blood of Christian babies. You know, yeah, it's always been a very dumb peasant mind. It is like they're fucking kids. Although Epstein's temple didn't really help. Epstein <laughs> was kind of found the well, temple. The, Epstein. The problem was that yeah, it is funny though because there, there is a lot of folklore. But Epstein was in fact fucking kids, and there was like a bunch of All super right, but rich. We do dudes. say kids. Come on, thirteen year olds. All right, that's pretty young. That's pretty young. That's young, dude. and like the that's very negligible. Super high profile peeps were chilling with this dude. There's no way. He was like secretly just trafficking young Sniz, and he, he just had these friends who weren't cool with it. And he was like, "Well, I'm just not going to tell them about this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't need to know about kids. Yeah. that I have in this. What I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I'm on a whole other wave anyway, bro. What's I'm, the wave? I'm fucking nothing. What's the fucking wave? Constant right now? misery, dude. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. That's the sickest wave. <laughs> yeah. It's funny too because I used to make fun of comedians for always being like, "I'm fucking depressed, bro." Like yeah. I say, it's like, nah, bro. Yeah. 
you don't you don't talk about it like that if you actually are. For real. You just grit your teeth and keep going through your shithole life. That's what I'm saying, bro. You know? I disavowed, basically disavowed comfort today. Really? I don't, I don't get any sleep, bro. My bae is fucking pregnant and she's sick. So I just like stay awake, go to work, sit there, and I'm just like, holy fuck, dude, this shit's fucking crazy. Uh, it's pretty, it's not bad though. For me, I like it. You I'll, like your job. Yeah, I like it. I'm like, dude, comfort is not, comfort. You get out of the house. Exactly. Get out of the house. I go do cool I, stuff. The stuff I do, I really like, but it's also like, in my head, I'm like, this whole idea of being, like last night I was being a crab. I was kind of like, oh man, because it's, dude, it's, it's a, the worst position. So yeah. when like your pregnant bay is keeping you up at night, you just want to sleep so fucking bad. But what do you? What is it to be like? I'm really tired. So there, you, there's just no room for being a bitch. You just you cannot be a bitch. Yeah. To be a bitch is to be like, well, I get that you're pregnant and like in pain and all, but I'm really tired right now. So, but that's going on inside of you, so oh. you have to just be like, it's all good. It's all good. I, I well, don't I don't need sleep. I'm not a bitch. And then you're just not a bitch. And then you're just like, dude, today I I saw someone. I saw someone at work was like talking to them for like 10 minutes and then went to go get a kid. They had left the room, went to another room. <laughs> I left the room what, thinking I was getting a kid, knocked on the room and it was the same person. I was like, hey, is uh, what's his name in here? And they were just like, no, I'm I'm in session right now. And I was like, oh, yeah, fuck. I forgot you're not a teacher. OK, bye. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm like out of my fucking mind. Yeah. So tired. Damn. But that, that was pretty funny. I was like, that's hilarious. Yeah. Talk to someone. Like, Sorry, I forgot you in five minutes. And yeah. I just had a whole other conversation with you. <laughs> the, uh, but the not being a bitch thing is very, yeah. Can't be a bitch. Important. Well, that's what separates you from a dude that would leave a pregnant wife. True. <laughs> that's all it takes. It's True. just being like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to sleep. Like, this is fucking hard. That this starts with sucks. that. It starts with that. Yeah. Be like, I honestly, I get it and all. I should be able to sleep. Yeah. He's like, I should be able to hang that's- out with my friends still. He's like, I should have my own apartment. Look, it's the same thing as a dude standing up in a beer hall and being like, I'm not paying that one tax. (laughs) It eventually ends with a beheading. For sure. That's how it all started. Or just a hard dodge. Yeah. Hard dodge on the kid, and then you just always hold it like, yeah, come on. Like, yeah, I know you're your dad and all, but like, I don't have to be there all the time. What are you going to be holding your hand the whole time? Come on. Families are different now. Yeah. We just, you know. Women are strong. Yeah, families are different. I come see you on holidays. Whatever. That is a sick move. The dads do that. It's just, fucking just wild, leave. dude. Yeah, just it's ditching crazy. your kid. It's crazy. The the results are disastrous. The results aren't great. The but results are disastrous. Dude. You gotta be a real baller to pull that off. <laughs> you gotta be a fucking monster. Yeah. You have to be a monster. A lot of times they use the uh, the fact that they're arguing with their bae. Because if you're if you're like you know if you're already having a tough time in a relationship. Chances are you're not going to weather the pregnancy. No. The pregnancy is like... You is it, could, a dude is meta-pregnant with all of his base problems for about nine months. You could plant... You could just fight her constantly. Mm. And then, you, yeah, you could use that as an excuse to the kid. Yeah. Just be like, I wish I, I could be here, but you're fucking bitch mom. <laughs> she kept me from talking to you for nine years. And, yeah, you know, I wish I was here. All she, you know, she's just your bitch mom. Dude, that happens. It. That happens all the yeah, time. Yeah, they do that. I mean, that's a... If you're willing to leave your kid, you're also willing to make excuses <laughs> on other people, you Dude, know. It's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad. It's a bad thing to do and then it, to have a bunch of people kind of defend it a little bit to be like, "Well, it's it's hard sometimes for people and it's just like, yeah, not, nah, dude. It's under it's indef- undefendable. Yeah. Undefensible. It's like, yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah. Indefensible to be like, "Well, who says that it's the best to have both Wait, parents?" Are people defending it? There's people who are like, well, stop applying your norms on what a family should be. It's like, look, people don't have to live together, but like ab- abandoning no. your children is fucked up. And they're like, well, yeah, the, 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 well, the, it's different. And it's just like, dude, it's bad. It's bad news. If anyone's even thinking, of, if you're even thinking about getting divorced, dude, the only acceptable way you to get divorced, divorced, the only way, to, I know, I didn't have kids though. <laughs> True. If I had kids, I would have suffered for 18 years silently, like a lot of the good parents I saw do. Although, no, my, you, you should totally get divorced if you want to get divorced. What you should do, though, only if you get, you should go get a dupe. All divorce things should be like, you should, someone should order you to take your assets and force you to buy a duplex, and you just have to live above or below. And then it's just like a tiny, there's like a constant little, there's like a doggy door for your kid. Yeah. And they can just kind of go up and down. Yeah. And do their thing. Like a fire escape or a fire pole. <laughs> to be a fire Fireman's pole. pole? <laughs> yeah. A fire pole that can go right down. Yeah. Custody. And then climb up a ladder. Right yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be a bummer though, because then you hear your you hear your lady having fun, dude. That would cause hop down the fire pole and fucking land on her, dude. Be like, hop the down f- the fire, dude. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's your plan is I debunked it immediately. It's a recipe for absolute disaster. Are you serious? That the murders in this country would quadruple. <laughs> No way, dude. All right, think of <laughs> so, think of a divorce where the guy didn't want the divorce, but the wife let, started just fucking someone else sure. and left him, and he still loved her. Yeah, that's a guaranteed murder. It's He's got lay in bed, dude. and he hears someone fucking her. That's romantic. And there's a fucking fire pole that he can slide down and murder. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Look, that's romantic I bet 9 to 5 Or you know <coughs> During the day He's fine But you know how Those thoughts come in at night Yeah It's, it's 2 in the morning You're just sitting there You hear like You hear that creaking <coughs> It would have to be Every The walls would be like Studio foam It would have to be Totally soundproof True. Totally soundproof Whew. Yeah there's some boys That would slide down Oh for come sure Come down dude. and get you You put on the steel toe boots And just Even if you built Some sort of hatch They would just gather That speed down that. They would grease that Pull up dude And fucking come Right through yeah. the ceiling Yeah there's no stopping They'd it. come through the ceiling Like fucking what, Who's the guy from Street Fighter M. Bison dude He'd fucking <laughs> shoot down <laughs> They'd get their ass beat By the guy Who's oh, fucking your wife sure, dude. That sucks For sure Yeah that's true I mean again You'd have it's to It's not a good plan well, I don't ha- like the government Forcing people to live anywhere you know what I mean? That's step one. You get the government out of here. True. Get the government out of here like by your own accord. Yeah. It, or, okay, take the government out, and then we'll just do, all right, so everyone gets married through the church, and then there's like a like a league. Now I like it. You have the church fucking, uh, do you, you ever get like far into like, uh, I don't know if like white Baptist church do this, but do you ever get into like the new black churches when they have like, uh, fuck, I forget what they're called. They're called like, f- not fa- church fathers or something. There's, like, church fathers who, like, you can't get divorced unless the church fathers, like, you have my okay. blessing. So they get, like, real into shit like that. Where, like, it, you're in there and that some dude, could you could be like, Damn. I'm getting divorced. And the church father could just be like, no, you're not. Damn. I'll say when you get divorced. That sucks. That's a really stupid system. <laughs> <laughs> some guy that fucking, like, speaks in tongues, yeah. <laughs> steals money from people, is controlling your life. Uh, yeah, man. Wow. Well, they, yeah, it's there. there's still room for, like... Because if you can go, if you can, like, some of those, uh, Spud lives next door to one. I don't know if they go that ham in terms of, like, telling who you can marry or whatever. But it's, f- f- it's like, a four-hour tirade of hate speech against white people. Sick. So if you got someone that far off the reservation, you can quickly be like, oh, oh yeah. And yeah, by the way, dude, don't let the white man say you're going to get a divorce. Then I'm you just... a, I'll talk to your wife, and I'll let you know, like, what's good with this divorce and whatever. For certain. Boy, that gets, like, it boils into a cult. And there's there's yeah. definitely I, I could I could be pretty sure there's white versions of this. That's probably sure. the preacher that's fucking in Spud's driveway. Oh, dude, probably no takes doubt. him across the street, dumps on the wall, fucks a fucks I've, a parishioner. For dude, I, <laughs> I've been I've been hearing some tales about dirty preachers, bro. Yeah, what's it, what yeah. what are the tales you're being told? This is same, just trying to be players, dude, trying to get pussy. Dude. Yeah, preachers. I think yeah, it seems to be something you hear about in the African American community, especially. I hear it in. Some of the hip hop I listen to, well, they don't like the preacher the man. Preacher man that has a lot of money and the nice I mean, suit and the fucking true. But you now that's their problem. Siphoning white money. people, ours is they just are fucking the kids. Yeah, we have how to be a player, Father O'Malley style, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Father O'Melamy, dude, he's fucking. He's getting you. He's telling one fourth grader, he's like, I never even seen that little boy, man. I got to get out of here. He yeah. fucking peels out. Damn, how to be a player for priests <laughs> is really funny. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, man. See, Here's the rules see, of the game, baby. Someone. You got to wine and dine these motherfuckers. You can't let them fucking... <laughs> dude, just banging a fucking fourth grader and be like, I've never seen that man in my life. <laughs> Did you see how to be a Kid player? finding a ball underneath the pillow be like, whose toy is this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, baby. <laughs> whose box of crowds? <laughs> <laughs> whose crayons are these? I don't know, baby. I've never seen those in my life. <laughs> he has like another picture hanging on the fridge. He's like, what the fuck is this, dude? I know this artist. <laughs> yeah, like a, a turkey with a hand <laughs> a hand turkey it's like is that john's the name the name's clearly scribbled <laughs> on like half the page oh my god yeah he has those dinner plates where you like draw your whole family on. He's like, who the fuck's plate is that he's like yo come on come on baby baby you asking questions come here baby baby, baby. Come, here, come here come here well that's his fault you should never have your fucking hose in the rectory you can never have You're your never hose allowed to have your hose kid your place no so that's how you fall as a player dude yeah, as a true priest player <laughs> But yeah, man, that uh, yeah. that shit cracks me up. The church fathers and all that stuff is like my favorite thing right That's now. That's wild. Yeah, they can tell you cannot get a divorce unless they're like. I mean, I mean any- you can just leave the. Fu- That's the other thing too. Like, you can't get a divorce. You can easily switch churches. Yeah, you can Google church like church zip code and like nineteen of them pop up. Yeah, you can walk another block. So if you feel oppressed by your church father, 
Just fucking stop going to that one. Come to the Catholic Church, the white Catholic Church. Just don't have kids. Well, have kids. Have kids, yeah. Just keep a good eye on them because there's some players. Sure. The players <laughs> are out there. And you, the thing that sucks is you don't know who's a player <laughs> until it's way dude. too late. That's the game, dude. Well, because they all seem a little gay. True. <laughs> so, so you can never, they're all weird dudes. Obviously, True. they believe really strongly in God. Oh my God! <laughs> they all wear, they dress in goofy outfits, and they're all very weird men. Yeah. Have you ever met a priest that wasn't a fucking weirdo? No. They're weird boys. Well, even well, I met one in high school who seemed cool, and the more I think yeah, about, yeah, you get it, older, and he, like, yeah, we had one. He was like showing everybody his CD collection every day. He'd be like, damn, he's the man. Yeah, that's weird. And you get a little older, and you're like, what the fuck was he doing? Yeah, why does he show me that? Yeah. Yeah. What is he trying to be cool? Dude, yeah, that's <laughs> which that's I guess weird. you know, that would be that would be something they probably game planned. They were probably like, All right, go be relatable to the kids. For sure. Like, they, they somebody probably told him to go do that or something. For sure. Or he just, you know, He's got like, his rocks off being like, Hey, I'm one of the cool guys. Check this out. I Check like out this fucking DMX C D. He was Don't listening tell to DMX? I have it. No. He had like <laughs> Will Smith. Did he really? Yeah, shout out. Dude, imagine bumping Will Smith in the rectory with all your fellow priests. Mm-hmm. Must, they must have got crunk. They must have got crunk. They did get fucked up. Damn, how much do you think they were all secretly beating off? But, hold Just on. like, kind of like, I gotta go upstairs. And then be like, I know he's beating off. And then a minute <laughs> later, you're like, I'm going upstairs. I went upstairs too. It's just an unwritten, like, you can't tell. Do you think they had, like, special fountains for, like, fleshlight cleaning? Definitely. <laughs> like, mass <laughs> met people were coming in, like, dude, get that thing out of the fucking holy water fountain, dude. Imagine cleaning your fleshlight in holy water. Matt, don't what? even say stuff like that. I'm just saying, dude. That pisses me off. You go in and fucking dip your head like, dude, come on. You're, you're supposed to soak it. You're only allowed to soak it at nighttime. You're pissing me off. Dude, imagine that. You're pissing me off right now. <laughs> you're talking about <laughs> fleshlights in holy water? <laughs> I don't like it. Come on, man. I mean, where else are you going to clean them? <laughs> Take a nice bath, dude. Just dunk, baptize it. <laughs> That's what the baptismal, the fountain up front. You baptize your flashlight. Just fucking chrisming it, chrisming the like the pussy hole. Just being like playing with it. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that's little, nice, dude. Little sign of the cross on the uh, little butthole. That's no good, dude. This is no, this is junk. This is blast. This is junk. I'm that's sorry. junk. <laughs> but doing the sign of the cross with your thumb on, on a on a clit <laughs> on a flashlight. <laughs> Like, yeah, never I mean, could you imagine inappropriate stuff? Do you imagine the pussy they get? A Catholic priest? A priest? Dude, when they're like, the lady comes to you, she's like, I don't know what uh, to do, Father. Our sex life is bad, Father. Yeah, like I don't even know how to talk oh, about this. Oh, I haven't come in three weeks. Husband died. Who else? Who else can break? A, who break a bay off of some d? Who else can break a widow off of some d, dude? Without anyone knowing. I think the. Do you think the broads like it too? Yes. There's a guy who promised God he would never fuck anybody. Dude. And your pussy is strong enough bro, to break a covenant. You ever hear of a story called Adam and Eve, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, dude. Tale as old as time. They fucking love that shit. Damn, God hates women. That's why. Well, he They're did. They're always trying to fucking break his covenants. Well, they they can. They can with the sniz, dude. The, that's why sniz is the devil. Yeah, dude, that's what the snake was. That's why we should kiss, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we should kiss to end all fucking kiss blasphemy. To stop all this bullshit. <laughs> I think that's how they get there. What? To kissing boys. Yeah, <laughs> I think we just figured out the <laughs> equation. They're like, dude, I'm going to tell you what, man. We're on a chalkboard right now. It's just like, eh, got it. We finished the equation. Drop the chalk. Yeah, dude, that's how you kiss boys. Pretty much, man. Yeah, you're like, have you heard of Adam and Eve? We, well, should, we should fuck. That's what the snake was. It's sweet. Sweet fucking Eve sniz, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. The priests. I don't know. I just yeah, they're not a good. They're not good ambassadors. I wonder. I think they they were cool. Like back in the day, like the French Revolution priests, they were fucking balling, dude. They were chilling. They were in Senate. Like no, dude, we're keeping our land. Fuck you guys. Well, back then it was like yeah, it was cool to be a fucking bishop back then. That was like serious. Status. Now it's like if you see it's like hey the bishops here. Fuck yeah, well, <laughs> You're just you mean to them. Do you see it? Was before it was like I wouldn't say that. I was imitating a high schooler at a basketball game. That's what I had in mind. That was the bishop. That would the bishop the would bishop? like come to your Catholic high school basketball game. And see, you know, you might scream, I was still scream pretty, something inappropriate at him. I was still terrified of the bishop, bro. When I was, like, so, was when scared, I confirmation yeah. age. Yeah, Bishop I didn't was, memorize my questions. I thought he was going to ask me a question. I was like, going to be like, oh, and he's going to be like, to hell. Damn. I was scared of the Bishop. But, yeah, man, I, that, that was like, <laughs> that was one of the top dogs, dude, forever. It was like political king guy, warrior type dude, priest. Other than yeah. that, 
peasant. That was it. Yeah. There's four options. Yeah, there's the the three estates. That's what they talk about. Yep. Priest fell to fell from favor. There's guys who pray, guys who fight, and then just yeah. lords. Now it's just blogger, comedian, musician. Yeah. That's pretty much it. The rest are peasants. True. Podcasters. Podcasters are now kings. Pretty much pod. Is this pretty much podcasters, vloggers, Damn. rogies? He's the god emperor, for sure. True. You're a fucking. You're Robespierre, dude. I am fucking Robespierre. You're just bro. a dirty little revolutionary. <laughs> I don't like it. I can't believe you said those things about the fucking holy water. You said that. That was me testing you, dude. You said that. You said you wanted to clean flashlights in holy water. I said that's what they probably Your do. Your fucking Christian scorecard is low today, dude. No, you I'm, got a bad score you, you today. Are you telling my CSC? <laughs> you got a bad score I'm trying today. To fuck, I'm calling out the people ruining the faith. How so? I'm trying to let people know I'm it not with like this shit. seems like a false shit. allegation. I don't think any priest has ever cleaned a flashlight in <laughs> holy water. And you don't think no one ever came to a floating fake vagina? And like <laughs> One of the dudes that holds a basket was like, Father, Father. <laughs> No, you think someone with the, that like carries the basket around and gets True, dollar how, bills? Well, that's what those, <laughs> that's what they double as is pull pull scoopers to get the come out of them. All right, you think they do that? They're like, I don't want to disturb father. So there's some guy every morning he like takes it out and just like stabs it in the rectory. And like, yeah, get out of here, be gone. It's like father, one of those fake vaginas appeared in the holy water again. Oh, not again! Don't worry, I took it out and destroyed it. <laughs> I took it out in the woods. Keeps happening. The devil is afoot. <laughs> I took it. I took it out in the woods and fucked it. We mustn't tell anybody. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that I keep leaving them in there. <laughs> that was so funny. Because at my church, they had a uh, they had a lady who played the organ who would like constantly go outside and like smoke cigarettes between. Thinking <laughs> like, about some dude is burying a flashlight. She's like, "What are you doing out there?" He's like, "Nothing." Get back there. He thinks it's like Pet Cemetery because they keep coming back. <laughs> he keeps burying it and it comes back. A day they keep later. coming back as like hot teenagers and like hot dresses in Easter. He's like, "Ah, oh, god damn it, they're back." <laughs> oh man, hilarious. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Did you have any wild? Do you have any people in your church that were just totally wild out? Uh, yeah. What were they up to? <laughs> Drugs? Really? <laughs> just yeah. Well, it wasn't like a church. I don't know. Well, you didn't have like a church group. No, I'm saying guess, anyone that like you would pull up, like you would go to mass, and there'd be that one person there, you're like this fucking weirdo. There was a family of. There was like a very shitty family. Was there? They would right? always disrupt the mass. Like, just not stop. Just be loud, <laughs> farting, talking, and then I, and then I think later it just became our family. You guys took over. I think we there was several. Yeah, if you farted, my dad, my dad would hit me like every mass. He would make me sit next to him. And he would hit the back of my head if you did anything because I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> every mass I was ever in, I could. It was crazy. Yeah, we used to get separated. Me yeah. and my brothers. There was a bunch of us, so we would like sit as far away from my parents as possible, play grab ass. Yeah. Talk about like we would literally just like pat each other and like tilt our head towards someone we thought was hot and be like nodding like dude, dude I totally would. Your dad must have been just furious. He was so mad. He fart. He <laughs> yeah, farted. Fart, fart. Dude, over. Your it's dad over. smelling a fart in church and hitting you with a scowl is the <laughs> funniest. Just like looking at three people being like, "Who the fuck?" Like what, silence. What is he's, that? he's so afraid of making a noise in church, but he also has to address the fart. He's looking at you guys like, "You get out of here. You guys are getting fucked up." You guys farted in church. Yeah. We'd be like, "What's me? What's me?" Was it me, it Dad? Was, I thought it was. <laughs> it was really, I didn't do it. I didn't fart. Dad. Dude, the best was if I would kneel, a fart was coming, dude. If I kneeled down, a fart was coming. Dan, you're kneeling nonstop in church. I know. And nonstop. I, like, I, would kneel, I would kneel down. I used to do a thing where I would like wiggle back and forth and let my nuts smack my legs. I would do that for like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Bust fuck. a fart. Dude, bust a fart. Wiggling back and forth and swinging your nuts because your nuts are new. <laughs> yeah. This was a point in your he life where dropped. they just dropped. So you would swing back and forth and be like, this is crazy. I was just ping-ponging them back I would and always forth. try to sit too. If no one was looking, Bro. put your ass on the pew, Bro. get fucking hit, <laughs> which is crazy to hit your kid for that. I never, I never even thought about touching butt to the pew. I would touch butt to the pew. My mom and dad were total. Be, oh, they were psychos. Against they were eagles it. eye against it. Dude. Well, that's because they were embarrassed because the family behind you would be like, "Look at this pussy! You can't even kneel." You know, what <laughs> I mean, the shame of having I a was kid doing that, that would sit. We had a couple fat families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. who were like there, and all the whole fat family with their butts <laughs> would go to the. <laughs> the whole fat family would like yeah, their butt would be on the pew. Yeah, well, it starts with the father. True. If your dad is somebody who's willing to put his ass on the pew, oh my God, you got dude. a weak family. You do. That's your family is soft. That's fucking bullshit. You might as yeah. well leave. If you're going to put ass in the pew as a dad, you might as well leave your I fucking can't even, family. I can't even imagine if my if seeing my dad do that. <sighs> my dad has like real like knee problems, dude. I don't think his ass ever hits the pew. 
if I saw Phil do that, pregnant it, ladies can do it. That's it. Yeah, true. And geezers. Geezers, yeah. Ge- there's a lot of strong geezers who refuse. The geezers still refuse. This is. But yeah, if a geezer must, like an old lady, for sure. T- without a doubt, today I have no doubt I would sit on the pew. Oh, I I've been to church recently, dude. I'm fucking butt up. If I'm at a wedding or something. Oh, it's drill. It's drill. No chance. You talking about not kneeling at all? I would kneel, but just sit. You gonna put your butt on the pew, bro? I don't care. Fuck, not me, dude. Nah, I, you're right. You're it's, right. You're it's right, not even like right, a, it's not like right. I care. But like, dude, like, dude, Brittany's fucking pregnant. We were at a wedding, and she like leaned back and her butt hit the pew, and I, I caught myself being like, yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm a fucking psycho. She's pregnant. And I'm like, she shouldn't be kneeling like this because she literally can't. Her belly would be like smashing yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing. But dude, I still. Pop butt off the pew and I'm like looking around, dude. At all Better times, be being sitting. Like, I'm scanning. Who's sitting? I'm scanning, being like, "What the fuck, dude?" Wow, it pisses me off. It ticks me off, dude. Oh, I remember. I wow. think I, I might have once slumped, and my mom was like, "Are you, are you serious? There's people out here that probably well, you, you better get your ass off that pew." She fucked you. She would spat. <laughs> Did you guys leave early? Yeah, right after communion. Ooh, the walk off, bro. The walk off. That would be if. Uh, yeah, my family has done as a family. Hit that, st- which makes no sense. Kid the communion, as a kid, I would do it, but like sign of the cross, and you, out. Hit, you got communion, so you just leave. Yeah, and it's hilarious. That was to get the well. That was the whole point of the church. But you did have to otherwise just sit there and listen to fucking announcements for no reason. True. After communion and battle the parking lot out, battle yeah. the parking lot. Yeah, we. Uh, my not only so I would like to, I leaving after communion was out of question. This is church talk. Yeah, this is church. If you don't know what this is, sorry. If you don't dude. know what this is, sorry. Get to church. <laughs> this stuff will be relatable. But yeah, the um, after communion, my they made it a point like the song. You know the, the last, song just ridiculous. Uh, you got to sing a song with all these fucking weirdos. Yeah, and then listen to announcements like the the rectory will be serving bakery. The, the, the. It's just like, hospitality what? Sunday was lit, dude. Mini donuts, lemonade. Ice tea cooler, that was like once a month, dude. Hospitality Sunday, that's when I was like, this is when the reels come out and feast on fucking donuts, dude. <laughs> Everyone else left, dude. You guys played yourselves. Wow, I'm about you to eat like up. 900 munchkins and chase my cousin around the church basement, dude. That's Fuck fun. you. It was awesome. That's fun. But you better watch out down there. Uh, you yeah, better, if you, get, you take a wrong turn in that maze, you got a, you got a hungry boy True, waiting for you. True, there's no such thing as free donuts, dude, in the Catholic <laughs> church. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> getting got at the fucking after party. Yeah, man, that was. Fun. I remember just looking at my mom and be like, din, 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 din. I'd be like, all right, mom, the music's playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'd be like, not until the priest passes us with the cross. And I'd be like, God, fucking uh, damn it. Oh, yeah, you got to watch the priest walk out. Priest has to walk out before you Fuck, even think I about even it. I thought dude. about this in years. Yeah, man. I forgot about that. You got to wait for that fucking idiot to leave. Yep. How do like, you feel? You, you have to be against homilies now. You could, you could be delivering some sick sermons. Oh, dude, I listen. I used to like purposely oh. channel them out. Now I go and listen to them. And I'm like, bro, homily sucks. You have these people's ear, and this is what you're bringing. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. In my, once again, I have a decade full of shit I want to do. And then you think you 45, might join? 45s, 50s. I'm not, I'm not joining the Catholic Church. I'm going to start a fucking church. You should for, join the Catholic Church. That would be tight. If they you would let me save speak, the church. If they would let me, I might. I might do another. I might do another Lutheran Reformation on the Catholic Church. New Pope. I might dose. I might become a deacon just to dose an entire parish. <laughs> <laughs> just go to jail for dosing them. It's a sick move. It'd be tight. Tabs of acid on the communion. Just some liquid, bro. Ooh, some, some couple watch drops. out now. I think you mind. I think you mind stirring that up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you'll be the first priest to forget his flashlight. True. In the that'd be funny. That would be like that. Would do that. That would hit the papers, and they'd be like, "Not the worst thing." Yeah, that would be one of the worst things. Really? That, people would be more upset about that than a fucking if you banged a kid. Are you sure? If people opened the paper and were like, oh, another priest fucked a kid, they'd be like, all right, whatever. <laughs> if they opened it, it was like, a priest do- dosed his parish with acid. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, yeah. But then I did Hospitality Sunday, dude. There'd be, I would just trap every. It would be a nice well, casual look, lock-in. Look, as, if I know the media at all, they're going to leave out that you did Hospitality Sunday. Did you think they're, they're going to like, fucking oh, leave true. out. They're gonna st- the story's going to end with you, <laughs> you know. True. Date raping your. Well, I wouldn't do that, any of that. You wouldn't get anybody? No. All right. I would, I'd be like, all right, guys. Listen, at this point, you've probably been in the you know, seminary for a while. True. You've been, you, so you're hungry. True. I haven't and if you have, you have the whole gang dosed up, you don't think you're taking someone down the basement, no. down the catacombs? No way, dude. Yeah, one of those boys down there playing gets lost in the catacombs, dude, runs into old first of all, Father McCusker down there. No, dude, because I would, I would young pope the whole fucking squad coming into a parish. 
You'd say, if anybody's I'd, gay, get out of here. No, I'd be like, if anyone's gay, that's fine, but we're going to go roll the pedos up now. We're rolling them up. That's fine. Let's roll. Yeah, dude, I, I, would, I, I, would, I would just be a deacon. It's crazy they can't roll the pedos up. Who? The Catholic Church. Dude. I think the pedos have, like, too strong a lobby in the Vatican. Oh, yeah, I hear what you're <laughs> they, saying. Like, the, every pope they elect is just like... I'm not. I can't fix that problem. <laughs> <laughs> there must be all the the you know the U.S. government's locked into these corporate lobbies like big oil, all that shit. Yeah, Catholic Church is muddled with big kid ass. That'd be tight if all their tra- you know like they have the treasure. <laughs> the big kid ass. <laughs> big kid ass dominates the fucking Vatican. <laughs> As the final say. Yeah. That dark money. Yeah. The I'd be love to see all their like treasure. You know, they have like like uh, priceless treasures and shit and artwork. Yeah. It's just like kids getting their dick sucked. And they're like, <laughs> nah, dude, we would fucking sell it and help the poor. But like, you guys will understand. It's like really important stuff. Yeah. It's probably just like pictures of hot young kids. The Vatican's artwork? Yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, it's probably just all the school photos ever. They love keeping that shit. It's, they love clout. Oh, Catholic sure. Church is all about clout. We should storm the Vatican. How hard would it be to storm the Vatican? Pretty hard. We get. Uh, they have the Swiss, have they have the Swiss up, guard. Dude. Yeah. Swiss guard would get us with like spears. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah. Some dude dressed like a dickhead killing you. Well, so does all they have is spears? Do they? Are they got firepower? I'm sh- I'm certain they have firepower. Dude, that would be tight to storm the fucking Vatican. How many? How many fucking what, Swiss guards? What like forty guys, fifty guys? I have no idea. We gotta start no doing idea. some research. Dude. I need to see what the optics are like. Um, you should. Contact ISIS. I think they'd be interested in sacking Rome. <laughs> you and ISIS could team up on this. I mean, dude, I wonder what that would be like. I think that would be, you know, same manager or you know, new manager, same rules. True. If that, if the ISIS got in there, the it'd be no break for the kids. I'd red wedding them, dude, because obviously it'd be me and a bunch of patriots. I'm like, nah, come on, guys. If we do, I'd fool them with gladiator handshakes, and then as soon as we're in there, dude. Sh- Lock the doors and be like, "Who you would kill the ISIS that helped sure. you take the Vatican?" Yeah, definitely. Treacherous. I'm Robespierre, bro. Robespierre. <laughs> Robespierre. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know how this is going. I can't tell what if this has been complete gibberish. Yeah, whatever. Oh, no, people know what's going on. People get it. Let me know. Shout out, yo! Shout us out if you want to storm the Vatican, dude. No, it'd be tight if that spread like Area 51. Yeah, people are like, oh, there people are about to 2020. Spread. We're gonna storm the Vatican. But I, I thought we were good. True, we are that, good. We no, are. we are good Catholic. We're, We're going to take it, it back. I'm going to go see all the dirty photos they have underneath I'm the fucking roll up the pedophiles. Yeah, dude. I'm going to I'm going to storm it with my own fucking my two You're fists. Gonna get I'm not going to bring dude. any weapons. You're going to get knocked out <laughs> by just some Italian dude who's just hanging out. I'm going to Vespa. Some gonna dude's going to stop you pinching an ass somewhere and be like, "Oh, I have to get back to work now." <laughs> Big time ass pinchers. The the Italians. Oh, what yeah. do you think of that? So that's what they do. Really? That's how the Pope. That's how the Pope fell off track. They went to Italy and they're like, "We can pinch asses here," and they're like, "Yeah, bro." Oof. He's like, "Anyone?" He's like, "Anyone." You can kiss totally normal, like grab a little boy and kiss his lips. It is in Italian <laughs> culture. It's totally normal for them to kiss anyone. <laughs> like this is the perfect. So place, you think dude. the problem with the Vatican is just Italians? Yes, in that's definitely. true. Everyone blames on homosexuals. It's like wrong. No, it's Italians too. It is the Icons. I can see how you'd confuse them. <laughs> true, they are very indiscernible. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can see how you. I would see where people got like. Do you think they have that like Italian like catcalling towards boys? <laughs> You're sure. like, oh, you look so nice. <laughs> you look a little. Uh... The priests tip their fedoras down. <laughs> oh, come here. Oh, I'm Maron. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes is hot, dude. <laughs> oh my oh, this, god! You know what? This we needed to make this a good episode because this is uh, this weekend. People are gonna be traveling this week. True. For Thanksgiving, they're gonna be listening to this shit, <laughs> rolling up to their <laughs> shitty families, just like, oh man. Yeah, I wonder how many people are gonna be bummed. It's that's that's the one thing I I was saved from. I'm I was like never bummed to like go to my family functions. No. I was like thinking about that, how much that fucks people up this time of year. Yeah. Having to like confront the people who have just like ruined their life, <laughs> and you're like, "Fuck, I gotta yeah. go see all those people." Just someone like, "What you think you're better than me?" And it's like, "Fuck you, dude." Yeah, mine's gonna be interesting this year. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna be fielding a lot of questions. Extended family. A lot of questions about what I've been up to. You should stay shut in. You should show up and immediately sequester yourself to another room and just have someone bring you. I your used meal. to do that. Did you really? I used to go in. and My grandma, R.I.P., would sit and ah, oh, that's sad. Yeah, she. I would sit and watch football with her. Just go in her room. She did love football. 
She's a good grandma. She's a good, I've been she's shitting a, on her pretty hard lately. I do. do. Well, it was, <laughs> she'd be, I think she'd be into the, the laughs. Yeah, she'd think it was funny. You got some good laughs. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. But he used to chill with Grams. Yeah, yeah. So we should go, just go in the room. All you need True. to do to ditch your family is have a game system. Game system in the basement, go downstairs and game, and you're like, just chill down there. Yeah, that used to work, but now, you know, now I'm 30. You can't take a game system. <laughs> so you can't be like, Mom, I'm playing Xbox in the basement. <laughs> I can't hang out. Order a pizza. <laughs> yeah. No, the uh, Mom, when's my pizza coming? I hate turkey. We do it at my cousin's house. And okay. we have a we have an archery competition. What? Yeah. You guys Every are wasps. Year. I don't think. <laughs> it's in like a no. You guys are fucking fuckers, dude. Bow and arrow? Yeah. No. That's not wasp. You don't think so? Bro. What are you talking you about? You guys have an archery competition. Yes. Who wins? I'd never win. Really? I'd launch it straight over the target every single time. Did you ever shoot it straight up in the air? I should this year. Have everyone run? <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> run! <laughs> oh, my God. That is fucking sick, dude. I love hearing my family yeah. do tight shit like that. We used to play Scrabble. How'd that go? We used go? to have a cousin battle. How'd that go? Who's the, uh, shut down? Got shut down a couple Why? times. Why? One time. Censored? One time, Katie, had a, my sister Katie had a couple of drinks. <gasps> No, didn't take losing too well. What? And she punched me in the face. <laughs> she fucking punched me in the face. I would love if the idea of your family scrabble just all slurs intersecting. <laughs> yeah, <just> slurs. <laughs> like, Dad, is that a word? <laughs> like, yeah, we used to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's so funny, dude. It's not enough C's <laughs> in the game. We ran out of C's. The whole family <laughs> scrabble board is that. It's only three C's. <laughs> oh, my God. If, if you get that word, you win. Oh, oh my God. If, dude, imagine this year if I get that word. <laughs> you got to go for it and win scrabble. If I, oh, fuck. Somehow, my career redemption involves me being a professional scrabble player. Oh, my God. ESPN 3 is covering it. For sure. Nationals. I'm dead. Last move. <laughs> I look down at that little tray. It's just spelled out perfectly. Oh, fuck, dude. What do you do? You go I got, for I got to go for it. Take be like, I'm win. talking about like armor. <laughs> you go for the win. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go for the win. Have to. You must, dude. Just looking down at that, <laughs> that tray that has my letters on it. Just like, fuck. <laughs> it is funny, dude. They have people building compound slurs off it. Like, oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. <laughs> Oh, but dude, awesome. you can't build off my fucking word. <laughs> like, dude, I get your triple word bonus. Like, no, nah, I already put it down. Dude, you don't yep. get it off that. Fuck, that's so funny. So, you guys are going to be hitting the. Ar- have you have you hit any archery ranges? You should get nice before. No, you get- no, I really don't like it. Who's the key archer in the family? Mm, my cousin Casey's good at it. She's good. Okay, I think. No, I don't know who's good at it. Who won last year? I don't remember. Wait, hold on. What happened? What, what happened to your sister spazzing out and losing? Well, she got drunk and fucking punched me while we were playing Scrabble. What? Yeah. In the face? In the forehead. She jabbed me in the forehead. What? Yeah. It was very odd. She, she still acts like it was like we were young. She was like, she was probably like 28. How mad were you? I laughed. I was like, oh my God, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Wait, so were you talking shit during Scrabble? Yeah, I was because I would, I dominated oh them in God, Scrabble. You're I'm, g- I'm good at Scrabble. Well, you know all the bad words. I know all the bad <laughs> words, dude. There was a big controversy because I used the word nines. Okay. Um, and I would have won, but it was challenged, and nines isn't in the dictionary. The dictionary. The nines is like a golf course. Golf nines, course? like dressed to the nines. Oh. Uh, I thought nine or plural. The word nine, plural. Yeah, I saw. Like I had a pair of, in playing poker. I saw a pair of nines. Two nines. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, a big controversy in the family. Did they look that it up on like, up. like a, a leather bound dictionary? If you went online, I guarantee I that would pop up. I was bummed about that. That would piss me the fuck off, dude. Uh, Damn, I open my thing. I just who do I see? But Timothy Gwinnett. Don't name him anymore. <laughs> it might even. It's probably not. We even don't want right to. We don't want to bust this boy. Uh, there's also classic words. Cousin Patrick hit a big one. He hit toadies. Ooh, toadies was a big one as good. well as zuaves. Was zuaves? Which, zuaves. That, that was challenged, and that's a French soldier. In the Civil War, it was like a French uniform that guys wore. Yeah, what the fuck? Couldn't believe he won on that. They couldn't. They did. Well, they, well they let you do French though. Well, that's it was an American. It's been yeah, adopted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I hate to break it to you, Shane. Nine, a group or unit of nine individuals, plural noun, nines. Exactly. 
on the fucking Google Dictionary, bro. Well, technology. You should have won. I should have won. Do you think there will be some sort of uh Well, what's funny is every year, if you open the box, all the old scorecards are still in there. I can break that one out. You could amend that, that guys. Wrong. Nines is a word. You I shouldn't should... have been. I shouldn't have skipped a turn on that. That's not right. Yeah, you should go amend that right here if you want to pull. It, if you want to print it out. True. Pull it on out. Nines. Please. That's some motherfucking bullshit. That pisses me off. I'm pissed now. That's some fucking bullshit. I lost a spelling bee to fucking cabinet. It pissed me off too. Cabinet's a tough one. That was my bad because I spelled it ca- C A B N E T. I was like mm. cabinet C A B N E T. Thank you. And they're like <laughs> wrong, dude. <laughs> it's cabinet. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck. Cabinet. C A B N E T. You were in a spelling bee. Yeah, I was. was I was it? good. No, I, you weren't. I was, you got cabinet wrong. Yeah, but other than that, I was crushing it, dude. I was really? a sixth grader in a sixth, seventh, and eighth you got grade cabinet spelling wrong bee. In sixth grade. I was one of the. Fu- I was one of like the last four or five people left. I saw mm. bad. I saw poor spellers. Was from <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I went to. I, there's a bookstore down the street from me that I go to. I, I frequent every now and again. Yeah, dude. This lady. Uh, you should have a. Uh, Cross dress reader night. What's that? Or uh, I should drag read. Uh, yeah, you that's not a drag, bad idea. You know how they do that? Yeah. Like yeah, I should be like I'm. Up. I'm arranging it's sexual sexual positivity. I'm. You just dress like a woman and come in and read like young. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about uh franchising Comet Pizza and ping pong. What's that? The uh the famous the, the pizzeria in Washington D.C. That's oh. on the storm to the rifle. I might open one up in Northeast Philly. <laughs> just to see people <laughs> coming by. Open it next door to the Catholic Church. Comet, I'm gonna open next door to the Catholic yeah. Church. Comet Pizza. Get those boys fired. They'd oh, be like, dude. "This is this is crazy, huh?" I'm gonna check it out just to. Who's see that what's guy? Going. There's a guy from Philly who like goes pretty ham on like the viral clips. Fucking, he's the one who goes and goes like Biden and be like, "Why do you touch fucking girls, Joe? Why do you fucking touch girls?" I don't know who's this. Howie. Guy? There's a Philadelphian, I think his name's Howie, and he like goes to Hillary and he, he like heckles DNC people. He bothers and gets, Democrats <laughs> and gets kicked out. He's from Philly, dude. Nice, pretty tight. But I was, so I'm in this bookstore. It's a tight move, dude. It's a hilarious move to film yourself and then be like, "Oh, what the fuck? What? 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 I can't yeah, talk. What? I'm not allowed to say anything." He's like, "Oh, hey, Joe Biden, you're fucking gay." <laughs> and then the guy's like, "Get out!" Every night, he's like, oh, "Okay, I see oh, how not it is. To talk you're anymore? kicking me out. <laughs> okay, you should kick fucking him out because he's a child molester. All right, I'll leave. Get the fuck off me. Don't touch me. I'm leaving." Dude, it's so fucking funny. That's 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 not far. You you could fuck up and end up that guy. Who? You. How? There's a different path. There's a butterfly effect that could take place where you end up being that guy. I don't think you're far off. From being Howie? You could Howie out. I'm about to you're open. You're a few more like Dude. Clinton Foundation books away from like. I'm about to I'm open. I'm going to show up and yell at him. I'm going to open Comet Pizza, bro. I'm about to open Damn. Comet Pizza and Ping Pong. And then guess what? To expose them, I will run a child sex <laughs> ring in there. <laughs> Just to let America know what really goes on in there. True. Like, Self-fulfilling prophecy there. Exactly, dude. Like, oh, yeah, you guys don't think you're running a child you sex ring? You don't think ring? Pizzagate's real? Guess what? Check this. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it just to draw attention to Pizzagate. Yeah, I feel about that. If we ever did open a podcast studio, I think it would be appropriate to Pizzagate. design it as a comet pizza <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> Dude, so I'm in this or book. what? A Epstein Temple. An Epstein Temple, if or you just built an Epstein Temple in Philly, or as a podcast studio, it would be sick. I'll get it. We'll get a place with a backyard where we can set it up as like a, a Mexican sex trafficker dungeon. Did you ever see the Mexican sex trafficker uh, sex camps? No. That they found in Ar- the, like dudes in Arizona went to, and we're like, I'm here right now at a sex camp. As you can see there. There's a couple of trash bags. They're clearly fucking kids in those trash bags. What? There's some clothes over there. You ever seen videos of the fucking like no. Arizona why sex Why would camps? I ever watch these videos? Where, where, like, why are you su- surprised this is, this other people a, haven't this seen this This was a video? while ago, dude. Okay. Well, obviously, the mainstream media blocked you from seeing it. It would be a guy walking through tunnels and holding... It would be like three guys with AR-15s be like, we're live at a sex camp. Um, if you like, like <sighs> and subscribe. A couple, a couple, a couple of legals just ran off, but there's kids with them. I think they're over there fucking them. There's a little dugout right there. They have the kids tied up. There's ropes. Dude, it's the fucking really? the videos are off the hook. I don't like it. Howie probably rolled out there and saw it. I was like, mm. yeah, I saw the fuck. <laughs> like, they find yeah, a fort. Really they find a fort and they're like, oh, fuck, dude. I was walking through the woods with an AR-15. I found a sex camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny that that's become the 
conspiracies now. It used to be like finding Bigfoot. Now it's just finding we found, child Joe sex found slaves. Him. Joe Rogan did not <laughs> he find He found him. Bigfoot. Now we're like, all right, what else? You know what? I just listened to his uh, last special. Mm -hmm. Not the most recent. The one right before it. He's in Denver. Which he one? He talked about it. He talked Hi, about it. Uh, Denver. It was Rocky Strange Times. Oh, no. right. oh, yeah. Maybe it was two ago. Yeah, it was Denver. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. He was in the school. I don't know where he was when he yeah. said it, but he talked about finding stuff. It was pretty funny. You found him? talked about, like, that's one of the things he regrets ever doing. <laughs> <laughs> he feels like a fucking idiot. <laughs> that's so funny, Which is dude. really funny. I mean, dude, I like the fact that he pushed the pedal on that. that yeah, line. yeah, yeah. I, I, I really enjoy He's that. Like, we're a fine big fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, I respect that. And then, like, someone getting paid, and then like a like, few years later, be like, I really. One thing I really regret <laughs> was when I tried to find Bigfoot. <laughs> I just like the idea of someone finally coming into money, and be like, all right, I'm about to blow, the, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to blow the lid off of aliens and Bigfoot. <laughs> so like, okay, his sponsors are like, all right, um, let us yeah. know when you're done with that. <laughs> yeah, I respect the fuck out of Man, that. Dude. That's a sick power move too. To like. <laughs> yeah, because he probably, you know, he probably had agents and shit at the time where you got to sit in a meeting and they're like, "So, what are you working on?" Ah, uh, <laughs> no, the best. <laughs> Me and my boys are gonna find Bigfoot. The best is him doing all his shows about conspiracy theories, and slowly in every episode, people are like, "Yeah, yeah, that, that's not real." And it's like, <laughs> "Whoa, fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, guys, rap. That's it. No, chemtrails don't exist God either. Damn it, motherfucker. The executives. chemtrails had a good run." Chemtrails were there was a little bit of stuff coming down, but yeah, it was like Bigfoot. There was a ton of them, and I remember watching every. I was like feverishly tuning in. Being, that was like the height of my ancient aliens addiction, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude! Rogan's finally, someone has fucking, all the answers." And I had to tune in and be like, "What's his name?" Did that fuck. too, uh, Jesse Ventura. Did he really? He had a show like that, like where he would debunk shit. He didn't prove I think any he of found. He said he found like a FEMA camp with like he found like a. Basically, he was trying to say he found a concentration camp. He's like, the government's going to get us soon. <laughs> There's a concentration camp. That's probably what he found. That was probably the, the camp in the woods. Maybe. We got to get AR-15s and walk the woods. I dude. need an AR-15. If we got to go check the woods. That's what you hear enough of these stories. The, the, again, we found the equation. I wonder if you just read the, la the final equation. It's just like, oh, I got to buy an AR-15. Yeah. Sasquatch could be real. I might pledge my AR-15 in my service to Rogies, dude. You, like, dude, if, you, down. if you want to fuck it, no, <laughs> like, if you want to take up the good search again, if you want to start doing the good work, I will pledge my AR-15 and just walk around the woods. What are you going to find? Almost undoubtedly. I'm going to <laughs> find like, just a, a soda can and be like, a kid was find here. Find someone sleeping in a tent and be like, you guys fucking kids in here? You fucking <laughs> kids. Yeah, dude. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, you guys got cookies in here? Yeah. Somehow, though, it's funny that the the right wing in this country is like, there's people fucking kids, dude. For sure. Sick. That's a sick thing to go after. Well, it used that's to like be like... That's like their stance. It used to be like... Uh, the Republican debates... Well, they're not going to have any, but that's like a strong... They're not doing debates? The Republicans won't. Giotta said no debates? No, no. They're going to do... But no, I mean, like, the Democratic Party is finding a candidate. Right, Trump's right, going right. to run. He's just going to run. Yeah, okay, okay. That's be. right. That's right. That at least not... They should at least warm them up. They should be like, you know how they get all the candidates on stage and like, who here believes in evolution or like shit like that? Yeah, like, raise your hand. They're going to do that. At the Republican, they're going to be like, who here believes in Pizzagate, dude? Which right. one you got? The whole, whole fucking podium is going to be like, I, I voted against it. <laughs> dude. I voted against Pizzagate. Yeah, man. That'll be, uh, they should warm him up, though. What's that? They should warm, they should like let him spar with some people. Trump? Yeah. I don't know. He's going to be wilding, dude. He is going to wild. He's going to be bringing up Epstein. He's going to be fucking... They're going to try to get him on his one trip to Epstein. Well, he won't even he won't even acknowledge it if they bring it up. He'll just be like, that's not as many times as Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, well, you're not against her this time. He's like, you liked her. <laughs> dude, that's going to be too funny. Yeah, that, That's going to be one of the most high... That might be... One of the most tuned into television events. The debates, whoever, whoever him versus gonna, whoever is going to be he's got, nuts. He's like Muhammad Ali status, dude. He really is. In he might be the greatest. In terms of debate, presidential debaters, it's easy to say that he might be the greatest. In terms of entertainment value. Uh, yeah. That's going to be the high, most highly televised and tuned in event around the world. And people are going to be, there's going to be people, there's gonna be, you know the cut cameras like in Men in Black where they do all around, like Cairo, Egypt, people yeah, like, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, he called that guy gay. Oh, fuck, he said gay, dude, the president <laughs> said gay. I wonder who, yeah. he was attacking, he like came out like attacking on some like 1997 shit, like attacking Rosie O'Donnell and stuff. 
Yeah. I wonder who's going to be in his crosshairs now. Who knows, dude? He's just going to come out and be like, I like the old Roseanne, hate the O'Connors. Ah, <sighs> USA. USA. <laughs> yeah, he, it, is, it is exciting, and it's this year. It's coming up. He's going to start fucking people up soon. Like December or what? I, I, no. Oh, like the end but, of the But I mean, 2020. it's 2020. True. So it's going to start really ratcheting up, which it feels like, I mean, it sucks. It, it feels like the election just never stopped. Didn't. It just kept fucking, it just kept going. Yeah, dude, definitely. It, it's it, all day now. It's just politics, politics. It's just shit. I love how it used to be like, we're forgetting about the kids. You're like, they're fucking the kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, children are this country's future. And like, eh. Now it's like, we got to stop these pedophiles. Yeah. They're out there. I, I just, I wonder, I really do wonder what in 2020, 2020, dude, it's going to be fucked up. Yeah. Because they're going to meet, they're going to match his fucking shit. So they're going to be like, Heard you have a little dick, and you don't get any pussy, bro. I don't. I don't know. If you're strategizing with who they're gonna run, you can't do that. Well, they tried. They the can't. Republicans tried. The Republicans, to out, tried, the Republicans, tried, Republicans first. tried to out Trump. Trump. They're like, yeah, yeah, dude. Small hands. Yeah. He was like, he's yeah. Like, I've never had that complaint. Look at these <laughs> hands. <laughs> he shows his hands. <laughs> yeah. He's like, and in that department either. Oh my. He just got God. on stage. And was like, I have a nice dick. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Oh shit! Oh, take a break. Take a quick break. We're back. What is- Shane just disgraced my basement by farting in it. Have you been drinking? Why? I'm just curious. Why? My my upstairs smells a bit like a fucking distillery. Really? Mm, it smells a little bit like uh, met meta or metabolized alcohol. No. You haven't been drinking at all. I didn't drink last night. Shit. What, you think I just smell like booze? <laughs> I don't know. My, my house upstairs smells like. I'm sorry, Matt. How, did you did you drink the day before that? Yes, dude. There's no way my there's no I'm way very upstairs nose. smells like alcohol. I have cuvade. Still, I have cuvade syndrome, bro. You think that because I fucking went out and had a nice time? Come on, Matt. We're just having some drinks <laughs> two nights ago that you can still smell it upstairs. I've been downstairs, Matt. I went upstairs and I'm like, something smells like like alcohol. Are you high? No. Are you high all, right now? All. You would have to be high to come up with a plan like that. Or have cuvade and have very You don't good have cuvade. Well. You I've don't have a gluten it. allergy. <laughs> These are all made up. Dude, you and you're <laughs> going to come at me about my drinking problem. <laughs> I was just, just curious. Get out. I want to know if my nose is right or not. No, no, no. That'd be sick if I sn- snuck booze before the podcast. No, it didn't smell like it doesn't smell like you just drank. It smells like your body is in the no. process of like releasing alcohol to the uh, pores. That would be crazy. I was upstairs for fifteen minutes, could an hour be, and a half could ago. Could be, could have been a drunk in my house, and I don't know about it. It could have been someone else. Matt, I could be getting. I two gotta times. be honest. What you're, I could be getting. Two what times. you're accusing me of isn't good, and I don't like it. I could be. I'm saying I could be getting. I two think times. you're high on dope again. I'm not high on dope. Dude. <laughs> Are you, you, did no. you take fucking psychedelics I didn't again take today? Psychedelics or dope? Did you take psychedelics or I dope? Only, dude. I set aside three hour blocks. You see my Chase Lounge. You I see, see where I do I my dope. See where you dope and I lay, lay on, on a couch. There. You lay on a nice couch. Those are weighted blankets. They're nice. Dude. They're beautiful. You lay. You get high and lay on a couch. Shane, Matt, you're I, doing dope I, and laying I on a couch in a basement. I explore <laughs> trance-like states, dude. I explore, I explore yeah. hypnagogic states. Dude. Yeah, I have family members that were addicted to exploring <laughs> hypnagogas, <laughs> <laughs> and it's tough. We had to sit her, sit them down and say, "You got to knock it off." That would be tight if she was like, "Dude, I'm only doing it for three hours a day." What the fuck are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, to answer your question, I'd be shocked if I was emitting booze from two nights. Ago. I don't know what the fuck. I, I, I'm telling you, that's that smell. You think I smell like booze? I don't know. I smell... That, and so much so that it lingers in rooms when I leave? It smells like a priest upstairs, dude. <laughs> dude. I don't think. It could be anything. I just want to know what the fuck that smell... I walked upstairs and I'm like, what the fuck does it smell? It's like the, it's like Beezer's house. <laughs> it smells like Beezer's house. <laughs> well, Beezer's house. house has a... There's a trash can <laughs> always full of... No, it beer. smells like Beezer's house when Shaner sleeps over. Oh. <laughs> Those two, dude, <laughs> those two came up to the stand last night. Did they were they in really? New York last night. What they do? They showed their ass. What? <laughs> they just, they know. What they do? It, you fucked it. Just being you fucked. Real uh, you fucked it energy up there. Were they really? Yeah. What happened? 
Nothing. It's got, not, hammer, no, got no, hammered. Not gonna say. Yeah, they were just fucked up. It was funny. <laughs> it was really funny <laughs> to see like New York comics have to interact with those two. <laughs> like, oh, fuck this. This sucks. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. The fuck is this yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it was great. great. That's it was so funny. It was very funny. That is so funny. To be, yeah. who, who, who I can't that? believe you accused me of drinking on the job. I didn't say on the job. Dude, that, dude I, I just said you might I be hurting. No. You might be weak. No, I drove last night. Okay. Drove to the comedy club but to make the sure. Day before. Day before I did, you know. How many how many pops do you have? Had a couple pops the day before. <laughs> I was out until six a.m. You what? know, come on, man, it's a lifestyle, baby. Dude, you were sun worshiping. I worshipped the sun. Yes. Did you really? Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't get like. It wasn't like a. I wasn't like hammered. Just yeah. drinking. I mean, I was definitely fucking. Hammered. <laughs> I was definitely hammered. I wasn't hammered. I was just up all night. I wasn't drinking. hammered. I was just drinking till six a.m. That's fair. Yeah, it was a fun time. And that was what? Oh, that was Saturday night. Saturday. You night. had Saturday night fever. Yep. Oh, that's no big deal. It was live, baby. No, there's nothing wrong. With no, that. so I mean, to imagine that that hangover is still in me. Sometimes we. It's not. A, it's not like you're Matt. I'm telling you right now, you're I'm, out of your element. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go upstairs and do a walk. Go upstairs and do a walk through. Where did you think you smelled it? Around the den. In the living room. Yeah. Okay. So you think <laughs> you smelled booze from me sitting there for? Dude, she had two of her friends over one time. And they had been drinking for like a weekend straight, and then they came and sat here. <laughs> My house smelled no. like booze for like a day. No, I'm not going to stand for this. <laughs> I'm not going to stand for this. This is ridiculous. My house still stinks like dope whenever you're over. Are you serious? It, dude, you got my car like a month ago. My oh, car came with the dope, the dope stink out of my car. <laughs> It stinks like dope, dude. I'm so afraid to get pulled over. You keep getting pulled over. You're like, officer, I fucking hate dope. It's a dope. friend of mine. My friend. My goddamn friend stinks like he dope. Does dope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am sick that you accuse me. <laughs> I'm not accusing you of anything. How dare you? You think <laughs> up there that I sit up on there a couch sit. for 20 minutes and it stinks like booze something smells like a fucking a beer hall dude in my fucking house you broke my heart tonight matt i was curious what the I, smell was. your pupils dilated dude i think you're on dope right now <laughs> <laughs> hell no you'd dude. have to be doped up to think of something I, i'm, dumb like I'm back down to, i just do dope once every week or two weeks and every I do what one week or two weeks it's not bad how many times when's the last time you did dope Last time I surfed on that couch, dude. When was the last hours. time you were couch surfing? Uh, literally last week. Okay. So I'm due. I'm due for another three-hour fucking period. Yeah. I'm due to fucking- You don't you just get super high for three hours. You get super high like that for- That's an all-day experience. Not for me. I'm talking Matt, about the peak. come on, man. Once you- I mean, you, look. Will, me. will you do all it? Right, when I drink, I'm only drinking for three hours. And then it just wears off right away. For me, it does. Matthew? Do I'm I feel you, a little I think bit... step one is to admit you have a problem. Please, dude. Matt, you're addicted to the dope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a true. I'm going to send you to camp. That's true. I'm going to send you to, uh, fuck, what's that called where they make kids go out in the woods for. Oh, fuck. Dude, you just, there was a camp I recently found out about. I, I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. Someone I'm going to just... send you down to South Carolina. We're going to get you out in the woods. I'm going to spend, they... a, spend a Are couple Are you talking months. about like conversion therapy? Kind of. We're going to get you down there off dope. Off the dope? Yeah. It's going to be tough. You go down there and like, I know you guys like aliens, but they're not that cool. And yeah, you're like, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, rich kid, uh, rich kids that smoke weed get sent to like these camps. I forget what the fuck they're called. Really? Yeah. That's there's awesome. like literally there's kids, there's camps for like teens. <laughs> Who smoke dope? That like, yeah. It's, I mean, I think they were designed for kids that like really do crazy shit. Like pop miles. But then, you know, rich, dope. rich parents are like. We found a joint. <laughs> he needs to go to camp. And he just finds more drugs down there. He needs to go there. to summer camp. Oh, it's so tight, dude. Yeah. But no, I, uh, I'm i fucking pissed that you accused me of this. I was I and, asked uh, simply, did you drink? Because I'm trying to narrow down. Did I drink? The smell <laughs> in my house. <laughs> True. True. Come on, man. Did I party? How has the drinking been over? What, what hit me with the last week? What was the last week? Like? <laughs> some drinking. There's some drinking. How much going drinking? On. We're having a little fun, man. How, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How much drinking are you talking? No. Uh, too much. You, you, you want to fucking? I'm, I'm, You're back off the way. Damn it, Matt! No, this what are you is doing uh, night before Thanksgiving. Paul, it's Party City. No, dude. No, I got to explore the astral planes of downtown please, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Dude, I got to go out and find my way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't been getting drunk though. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. What have you been doing? Just drinking. Just not getting it. like hammered though. You're staying baseline. No, yeah. Gotcha. Keeping it easy. Keeping it easy. Yeah. 
That'd be tough. You ever see the Jim Morrison movie where he follows a Native American? <laughs> Yours is just you driving in a, some dude's cab and be like, what country are you from, bro? Yeah, yeah. What country are you from? Where the fuck are you from, for real? Dude, how fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I dude. hate this. this. These accusations make me sick. Whose fucking side are you on? I expe- <laughs> Listen to me. I expect it from the, the mainstream media, but when True. it's coming down from my best friend hitting me with these false accusations. It was one question. It hurts my feelings, especially, you- especially when I got some dirt on you. What do you got on me? You're addicted to dope, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're addicted to dope, and I'm not gonna get in. You know, I'm not gonna say, it, but you also you Wait. do mushrooms. <laughs> you're gonna talk. You're gonna talk you about do doing mushrooms. You're, you're, I'm addicted to psychedelics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down here, dude, like fucking Tom Hardy on a big opium pipe on my fucking chase down lounge. Here doing a little bit of mushrooms. <gasps> I don't like it. It's fucking sick, dude. Will um, you submit yourself to? A, Hitting the chase lounge. Man, that would be so bad. Shane, you would love it. Spud just Matt, did it. Spud just did it. He loved it. Matt, Talk to Spud about this. Talk to Spud about this. I'm in no this. mental state. You see that concrete wall right there? You want to go through it or not? <laughs> Matt, if I come down here and smoke half of one of these volcanoes. That's the problem. If I get super high. No, you got to smoke I'm two. fucked. You'll be fine. Dude. I'll be here. You're going to be like a Native American tending to me. I like will. In like a smoke chamber just... The um, absolute shaman. You would, I would be like, <laughs> 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 you need it. Sweating. It'd be you, horrible. Man, you need it. You don't. No, I don't. Dude, you go take a little Keefy crawler, pop that down, wait about half an hour, old chit chat. That volcano r- bag's going to rise over that thing as much as you can. Take that thing All down. Right, then you have to come on and experience with me. That's fine. All right. I would we, gladly we do that. Bong a couple beers. Sure. Yeah. Easily. And then we'll sit down and chat. I've done this with you before. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally done this with you. I've before. gotten high with you. You never hit the couch. You bro. never got blacked out with me. Yes, I did. When? The snow day. Oh yeah. I fucking wandered off. Dude. I got <laughs> fucked up, dude. That's when we were playing that Mario Kart drinking oh, game. Man. And I started chain smoking joints just to stay awake. Mario Kart drinking game's rough. God, I got fucked up, and I played. I played it with a uh, high ABV. So- no, wait, what did I drink? Yeah, yeah it was high ABV like ciders. That. Damn. I was chugging like nine per eight percent ciders. Fun day though. Whew, that was hilarious. But, I yeah. showed up to a party, went inside, oh. immediately called an Uber and left. Yeah, 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 I remember that. <laughs> that wasn't a good showing for me. No, I don't remember it. Um, yeah, you really, you really fucking pissed me the fuck off at the end of this. Thing. I gotta, see, I, I gotta go upstairs to see what's. It was just, a, I was like, Mike is my bay two timing me. Matt was my best friend, Matt, fucking around. I think it was that old pot pie you were eating. You think that pot pie gave me booze? Smelled nose? like pot pie. Yeah, could be. Popeye smells like could beer. just be me. My my family told me I stink yesterday. I could be smelling my own ass. You think it smelled like shit? No, it smelled. No, I was just trying to make you feel better. It's booze. It smells like a problem upstairs. Matt, <laughs> you're fibbing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how this you goes. Think this is all this dope. I think and you're I'm... fibbing. You got dope brain. <laughs> you're coming in here acting like I'm I'm sweating out booze from when. The night before. Let me tell you something. I don't sweat. Oh, my bad. That my, you're 100 I'm sorry. I cannot sweat. You're 100% right. You've had way too much adrenaline from stand-up comedy to I sweat. I cannot sweat. <laughs> Unfortunately for you and for this fucking argument. During uh, the last 10 minutes ago, I couldn't sweat. I can sweat now. Could be me, dude. It could be me. It could be an article of clothing. I don't know. It smelled... It reminded me of the smell of stale... No, you don't. You don't smell. I'm telling you. Think you think I'm emitting it up there, but not down here? The basement quashes all smells. You think dude. the basement quashes all smells? You yeah. think that's a, a reasonable it point? It could be anything else. I said that. I asked you a simple question. You came down. You, no, you, no, no, no. You are convinced that you are right, and that it is me that smells like booze. As soon as I walk out that door mm-hmm. to to drive to Harrisburg, yeah, to complete, you know, six hours of driving I've done today. Tour de force. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, You're going to look to your wife and mm-hmm. say, I think I think Shane's got a problem. He stinks like booze. I think he was boozing. I'm not even going to go to her. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go to an Al-Anon support group. The guy have a podcast, and my co-host slash best friend has an alcohol problem. I want to talk about it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Dude, I do not have a dope problem. You, of the two of us. It's a way of life. You have a dope problem. Hank, dude, it's a way of life, dude. Sorry. Mahalo, like bro. Mahalo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm all mahalo. You're all it's five o'clock somewhere, dude. <laughs> it is. It's seven. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what time it is. 
Look. <coughs> All right, I did stop at I did stop at a bar on the way here. No way. No, you fucking I didn't think idiot. You, did. you, I dope, think you, did. you dope fiend. <laughs> you dumb dope fiend. You think I'm drinking on the job? I don't think you're drinking on the job. God damn, it ticks me off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're drinking on the job. Damn, you got that dope up there. <laughs> you see my bomb? <laughs> yeah, there's a bomb sitting next to a volcano. <laughs> and I mean, this would be like me making this argument surrounded by bottles, <laughs> surrounded by bottles of vodka. And be like, oh, I'm, a, I'm not fucking. I don't have a problem with drinking. <laughs> You'd be surrounded by, <laughs> surrounded by vodka. And be like, I smell weed in here, dude. What's your problem? <laughs> you all right? Oh, I was simply asking you a question because I wanted to see if my nose was right. With cuvade comes heightened senses. Did I, what is cuvade? It's when, as a man, you like absorb your uh, your okay. wife's like pregnancy yes. symptoms. And it's not medically proven. Well, it's French disease. Yeah. Okay, so French are on top. The French are on top of this stuff. Um, In terms of like really bitch fucking diseases, they're like, <laughs> yeah, yes, we yeah. have it. I'm also tired. <laughs> I'm lazy too. I'm hungry again. What if that cuvade is when dads leave? That's cuvade syndrome, dude. They're like, I was fucking... I'm pissed, too. I'm, just, I'm fucked up, moody. <laughs> um, I had postpartum. I had to get the fuck out of there. No. No, we gotta get out of here. Um, I'm leaving. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah, go home to your family, dude. I gotta go home to my family. They'll be there. Boozing. You think they're gonna pop one open for you? No. Not till tomorrow. I think Phil will crack one open for me. You probably will. But this one's on... He's just gonna drink. He'll be drinking. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be drinking right now. <laughs> But uh, just slide your silver bullet. What's, no, I don't. His, I don't. What's his beer of choice? I don't drink in the house. Uh, Miller Lights, I think. That's what's up? But he's usually sipping vodka. Ooh. Or I'll get like wine. Every once in a while, you'll see him with a plastic cup full of wine. That's respectable. Yeah. Waking up after chugging a bunch of wine is a weird mouth feeling. It's yeah. Like not quite a hangover. It's just kind of like. Ah. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's pretty much like status. Or like like a easy or it's like the primary mode of operation for like a twenty five year old girl. Yeah, waking up like every day like <laughs> I love wine. It's like ew, ew, ew. Stout, fucking nasty, disgusting. Wine is the fastest route to alcoholism. Is it? Yep. Brittany's uh. How do you get addicted to dope? Gateway drugs, dude. What leads you to dope? Smoke, what led you? Smoking little pack. We used to smoke packs of tea in the woods. Really? Me and my cousin, I was a steel tea. We'd take tea out of the house, roll it up, and smoke it, dude. What are you doing with that bong over there? What are you S- doing with that? Smoking dope out of it. Why? Huh? What's it do for you? What, what is, is that? This? What is that? Worry about that, bro. <laughs> that is black tar. That's, that's not black. You, you accuse me of having that black? What's that? Rick Simpson oil, bro. What's Rick Simpson oil? It's a full spectrum. It's, it's like an alcohol extraction. <laughs> Matt, you, what the you, hell is that? Put a little alcohol, uh, CBD, bro. Get on my face. Maybe that's what you're smelling. All the junk you got down this here. This could be the smell. No, that you, you might be totally right. Because I had this lid I mean, open. I bet it smells like alcohol. It does. It's an alcohol extraction. I had this lid open all night. Could that be the culprit? Matt, I don't like what we're doing here. That <laughs> just smells like weed. Do you don't smell alcohol in that? Yeah, I do actually. At the end. That just smells like weed yeah, and alcohol. I'm going to keep this away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better hoard it. It's weed. With a little what bit else, of alcohol. What else is in there? That could be how I trick you to get really high. What's in there, Matt? It's literally, that, that's just that's. What do out. you do with that? You boil off the rest of the alcohol, and then it's just weed. I'll let you know when I boil the alcohol off so you can hover over it. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what you've done... Tonight that is, we were supposed to wrap wrap this up. We were true. supposed to end this, and then you come down here and say, "Did you just sweat out a bunch of booze <laughs> on my fucking couch, dude?" So now it's fifty fifty. It's either you or the fact that the lid was off that and alcohol has been evaporating. Fifty fifty, right there. I think it's thirty three, thirty three, thirty three. What's well, so that's that's that uh, you're a fucking dumb dope smoker. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a bad idea because you came up with a made up disease that you have from being high on dope. <laughs> you think I'm just? You think it's just some of my bong brain antics? Did you do any dope? No, today. Dude, I'm telling you, I didn't do any dope today. Did I'm just, you do anything? I'm just tall. Did you do any mushrooms? I didn't do any mushrooms. No psychedelic. When's the last time you did a psychedelic? Not since I rode the fucking couch, bro. You haven't done anything in a week? I'm telling you, I'm back. I have a new, a whole wow. new program. I just get super sconed once a week. So I tell everyone, look, for yeah, three, three hours. I black out once a week. Same program. Yeah, but dude, I come to that day in a fantastic mood. 
and take a normal you don't think I'm dump. I'm in a pretty good mood while I'm drinking. Not when you wake back up. Not when you Matt, rise from your slumber. Matt, Matt. Yeah, you're I was, addicted to dope. You were a fucking dude. You're a fucking <laughs> drinker, dude. You're addicted this to caffeine. Ridiculous. Addicted this to coffee. Ridiculous. Addicted to fucking alcohol. I'm addicted, addicted to, to nicotine. I am addicted to nicotine. You do a lot of drugs. I do. Yeah. You do. You do like soldier drugs. Pretty tight. Pretty tight, dude. I'm doing draft dodger duck drugs, dude. True. Fuck yeah. True. Yeah. Well, I was in the service, so. True. I, I should. Yeah, I shouldn't even. I, shouldn't I mean, even come on. Sorry, you know, I got that. problems. <laughs> <laughs> Try to drink away these demons. My bad, dude. Having my to bad. do push-ups. My bad. <laughs> Excuse me. My bad. I, you know what? I, I wasn't wearing my camouflage fucking Under Armour, dude. I wasn't wearing Digicam. You've been Under fidgeting Armour. with that button this whole time. Something's up, dude. What's going on over there? Nothing. You're fidgeting. I'm chilling. You're fidgeting. You need your fix. <laughs> it's been a week. <laughs> uh, I made a mistake of when you went upstairs, I read the... I read... A Reddit comment that was saying I was a fucking pussy. I was what? Like, God damn it. Who called you a pussy? Uh, somebody was complaining that Tim Dillon had taken down me and his episode, but it was just because there was like a blue chew ad read. Yeah. But then the comments were like, "He's a fucking bitch, dude. He's he's been a pussy lately. He's you're not getting the SNL job. Get over it, dude. You don't have to keep fucking being a pussy." I'm like Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck, man. <laughs> what? What? What is going on? I thought bro? people were trying to bully you into like just being all right, guys. My bad. What do you want me to do now? Yeah, it's like what the fuck? Yeah, both sides. I get bullied. It's nice. That's funny. That's what the uh, that's what the Twin Peaks thing was about. How the fans ruined the show. <laughs> that's the whole. Third... How do you feel about the fans ruining this show? Well, we might have to do season three, dude, and we might have to do Twin Peaks three. The whole show of Twin Peaks three was literally to show it was a big fuck you to the fans for being like, this is the show you wanted, and this is the show you got, you fucking babies. It sucks, and we mm. made it suck on purpose. Mm. How you like that? I did. Well, the thing is, is most of our fucking listeners are are sick. Cool as fuck. They're awesome. Most are cool as so fuck. You just get off the Reddit because it's not good reading. I don't really read it much, man. Well, it's, you, you, they love you. Sometimes they You're turn fine. on me hard. They turn on me every. Yeah, day. Yeah, they'll be mean to you every once. Someone while. who's like, I just don't get it. Matt's a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, man. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, these comments were like, Tim Dillon and Shane Gillis are both fucking spineless pussies. They get upset when Legion of Skank says the N-word. It's like, first uh, off, first off, bro. Yeah. I don't get upset. <laughs> I just know, well, it's funny to make fun of Lewis for saying it. Yeah, for sure. Like I'll say it, I'll be like, dude, don't say that. You it's, shouldn't You shouldn't be saying that. I mean, but, it's just funny to sit, see, like, have someone outside of, like, the Walmart table, just, like, eat on break, just like, <laughs> What the fuck? What? Shane didn't say a slur again? What the fuck? Oh, he's sold out. He's a fucking bitch. God damn. Go back in it. Dude, I had a fucking Lyft driver today. Fucking Eagles hat, Eagles hoodie. Mm, he's hopped, had a rough time. Dude, he's fucking, he fucking, he might have been in my living room, dude. I got fucking, I hopped in the thing. I was like, God damn. And he was like, you watch that game last night? I didn't have it in <laughs> me to be like, nah. Why? I like. I was like, I saw the last like five minutes of it. Yeah. He's like, you watch that game? And I was like, oh, yeah, I, I saw you know, I saw it towards the end. He was like, God, it's fucking atrocious. And I'm like, they right, are, dude, can you just fucking let it go? They are bad, though. I was sitting there with my uncle. Basically what I do, spitting out one of your takes for sports. Yeah, I'll just yeah. hear what someone says, and I'll be like, you know what? I was like, Wentz is good to my uncle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Wentz is good. He can fucking, he can zing that fucking ball. Yeah. I was like, it's a line. That's a problem. My uncle's like... Yeah, the line is shitty. He starts talking. Dude, yeah. literally, what Wentz throws that fourth quarter Pick, interception. Yeah. He's like, whoa, whoa, Wentz isn't any better. Wentz is good, huh? Uh, it's like, dude, fuck you, dude. Wentz is good. He is. I know Wentz he is. Wentz is good. He's going to go to He's got an, zero wide receivers right now. Zero weapons. He has no running backs. Zero weapons, dude. Whatever. That's just bird talk. That's We're talking bur birds. <laughs> <laughs> talking I birds. I was listening to it. Wentz has zero weapons, dude. Yeah, that's all you got to say to your uncle. They never go deep. Tell me about this bracelet. Oh, dude, my fucking... Uh, that's a dope bracelet. You think it's a dope smoker? You smoke enough dope, that's like getting a black belt. It's a gift, you dude. You get a beaded bracelet. It's a gift. The judge within you is so strong, I'm disappointed dude. in you for wearing we're gonna, beaded bracelets. We're going to do a little internal family we're gonna, systems. We're going to do a little family systems on beaded bracelets. This is a gift from a friend. Matt? She thought of me, bought it for me. She? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's Brittany's friend. Slash my friend, dude. She went to Nigeria, bought me a bracelet, and I'm wearing it. What is it? She went to Nigeria, dude. This fucking... It's an African bracelet? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, I think it was made in China, but yeah. <laughs> yeah probably. They, they, they kind of took it's over. It's a nice thing. They bought Let it for me, me and I like it. Ooh. It's nice. Let me see it. Get into it, dude. Why are you afraid to let me see it? 
I feel like you're gonna do something bad and fucking hmm. snap it. What are all these symbols? I would never break your uh, culturally appropriating bracelet. What's it say? <laughs> My, I don't know, dude. It's a fucking. It's some sort of like ancient runes, dude. I support your bracelet, dude. You better. I love you your bracelet. You better support my... Don't even look at my bracelet. I love your bracelet. Don't even look at my bracelet. Sorry I support cancer survivors. <laughs> All right? Hey, I, I like it. See? And that's what it is. Projection at its finest, My bracelet's dude. good. I didn't ever said it was. You looked at it like... Shane, I never said it was. Okay, people listen You to this. held your bracelet no, in my face. No, I didn't. No, I did No, I said yes. Matt, you're on dope and you misremembered. <laughs> I'm telling you how this went down. <laughs> um... I went to a mindfulness retreat all day Saturday. It was mindfulness slash internal family systems. It was fucking sick. Nice. Awesome. That so much fun. fun. I loved it. I did. Uh, there was a dude there. Fuck, this guy was so fucking cock, dude. First of all, rolls into the mind. You know, there's always somebody at a thing that has to be like, obviously to show you like without saying like, I've been here before. Yeah. So I like look very, this guy, we're sitting there, a guy has his shoes off and I'm like, damn, what a beast, dude. Took his shoes off in a public meeting? At the mindfulness, because it's mindfulness, so you want to well, be That's around. very un- not mindful No, you want to have, you be in your socks. You want to be, show everyone like, yo, bro, I'm in my, like, I know you guys are here, but like, I do this shit for real. Yeah. It's like when people take, do like, do you ever see people at the gym in their bare feet when they deadlift? They're like, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my bare feet and like, it's like one of those real sick flexes. So I, I go up there, I'm seeing them like, I was kind of like. We were doing this stuff like, dude, it's it's pretty crazy, man. It's like, so you sit there and you imagine all of the internal parts of yourself that have arisen because of like stuff that's happened to you. So like your old parts of yourself, there's like, I think that it's called like the judge. There's like the judger aspects. There's the, uh, there's like a, a zillion aspects of your personality that pop up and you're supposed to like close your eyes and imagine a big dining room table and all of this and invite all of the parts of yourself <laughs> to this thing. So our eyes are closed, dude. It's so fucking sick. And then they're like, like where? Did, oh fuck! I can't remember. Like this, like is there a part of you that's like afraid of things? There's part of you that's no. kind of like <laughs> exactly. There's no part of you that's like, let's okay, go, let's next. go, guys, let's keep staying busy, guys. Come on, and like you, uh, I'm missing that guy. You have all these, you have all these fucking the procrastinators. That guy got his ass beat at the dinner table <laughs> for being like, you know what? We should do something. Fuck you, dude. Beat the shit out of him. All right, now that guy's gone, dude. We can focus on business. We were sitting there and like your eyes are closed and you're it, like it got like you have the dinner table, all these parts. So there's all these parts of you and then there's your your true self, which is supposed to be transcendent to all the parts. And the idea is like the parts have been running the show. If you've been like dealing with a bunch of shit, you're like navigating your life through these weird like sub personalities that take over. And like that's like the uh, that's what comes with. That's what drives people to act in these like real weird kind of like driving or like, you know, scared kind of ways. And you're supposed to imagine yourself like hugging your younger self and being like, it's okay, bud. You can relax. You don't have to be afraid. Anymore. Dude, half the room. Like we like opened our eyes. Most people are fucking crying. The dude's just chilling in his socks. Totally unperturbed, dude. Just sitting there just like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, did yeah. you cry? Yeah, I did actually. I, cried I knew you I cried. cried I, I knew cried. you cried. I cried. <laughs> first one. I was first one to open my mouth. No one would talk. That was another thing. No one would like, well, what happened for everybody? And uh, no one would talk, dude. Fucking, you cried at a wellness meeting. Yeah, everybody did, dude. You're sitting there. You're. Well, it's you and a lot of pregnant women. Of course, they're crying. Nah, a lot of geezers. They're staring down the barrel. Of yeah, I know, I'm sure dude. they got a little sad. Hell yeah, it was what sick. are you crying about? You got to be a man. I was thinking about hugging my fucking little boy self, dude. I, I just made me. It just fucking teared me up, dude. What are you gonna do? Sickens me, dude. That's just the judge, dude. He, the judge is at center. You need it for yourself to be like, hey, judge. How about you take a seat, bud? I got this from here on out. The judge is tired, bro. Let him take a no. seat. Let the judge take a seat, The judge bro. is ruling. The judge is tired. The judge is in the, the ju- house, baby. <laughs> you better all rise. Here he comes. <laughs> dude, you got to invite him to the dinner table, dude. If, if I all the other there, parts, dude. If I would have been in there, I think I just am the judge. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think there's anybody, any of my other personality traits are anywhere. The judge is at the head of the table. That's And o- if I saw you crying in your, your little meetings... Mm-hmm. Just a tear, bro. I'd be just, unha- just one just shed, single just tear. Shed a tear, dude. I was like, damn, that's so touching. And then I opened, like, damn, I'm the only one crying. I'm such a bitch. I opened my everybody in there was just like, <laughs> like, dude, really? everyone, every, dude, it was it was we we're doing like a half an hour mindfulness thing. So you're like, no, I cry super easily. Your eyes I closed. Would've, I would have cried I mean, before dude, they I even met, brought it up. I literally the thing I was imagining it was like this weird guided meditation kind of thing, and the thing I went down was being a little kid and being constantly afraid of the dark when I was little. 
So like waking up in the middle of the night, and that's like that becomes a sub personality of a little kid who's like, oh no, don't do this. Uh, you have like a part of you that's yeah. real scared that you're supposed to tra- you take your whole self and be like, hey bud, how about you sit down and relax? I got this. And it was imagining hugging like a little kid, and it was just it was just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, really? It was sweet, yeah. If it's you, not, it's not getting you, me. If you close your eyes, all right, go if ahead. You, no, if you were to go to, if you were sitting there, say, I mean, you probably do all your thinking on the turnpike. If you were on the turnpike and you started closing your eyes, think about hugging little Shane, dude, a time when maybe your sisters did something really mean to you, you're upset, and you really think about yourself as a little kid being troubled, and in your mind, hug that little kid, it'll get you crying, dude. No, I would just turn up Drake louder. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, yes, dude, I am the man. Dude, well, it was funny because I went to this dude. No, I I just hit a hard Philly to New York cry. When? Uh, Last week. On the way up? Yeah. That's that's what's up. That's how you do it, dude. That was the first time in... Ever, really? Long time. Damn, that's it feels good. It was a rough couple of couple weeks yeah man yeah any music you're listening to or is it silence uh no i was hitting sad music what were you listening to eh, don't worry about it <laughs> eh, don't worry about it see you're trying to judge me matt I'm not, dude, you want me to say a funny song wow. so that you can make fun of it your your projective matt, identification matt, knows matt, no matt, bounds i know exactly how someone like you operates you, i've been around dope fiends my dude, whole life your projections are astounding dude. <laughs> <laughs> i have i've encountered many dope fiends have you I really? know how they act you grew up around dope Fiends. The whole street. Both my parents were potheads. Both my parents did we. <laughs> uh. The uh, but dude. So then this. So I'm like trying. I'm like in this whole space where I've been trying to like not be kind of weird. So like I see this guy. He's his socks off. Usually I'd be kind of like fucking guy. I'm like dude. This guy kind of rules. His socks are off. He's just fucking being like cock in a good way. Totally cock. I'm like damn. Yeah. This is what's up. I've been in a big thing when I'm in crowds. I just imagine literally being every person I see. So if anyone does anything, I'm just like, that's what's up. And I watch it. I'm like, mm-hmm. hilarious. And they they ask an annoying questions. It's like, yeah, I probably would ask an annoying question. If they're like, say something really smart, I'm like, that's so sick. That guy's that fucking yeah. smart. I just get into it. I've been getting into everything. But the, except for fucking pedophiles, I'll fuck them up. <laughs> the dude, uh, <laughs> so then this dude, so I like Alan Break. I see this guy in a book and I was like, I, I kind of want to know what that book's about. It's like literally in my head, don't ask the fucking, don't be a weirdo and ask. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to ask this guy. I was like, yo, what's, what's, that, uh, what's that book about? He just goes like this. Looks at me, looks at the book, hands me the book, and like goes back to what he was doing. Damn. I was like, dude, and in my head, I'm like, this guy fucking rules, dude. It's like, dude, this guy is the fucking man. So we go on break later for lunch. I come back, he says a dog in the bathroom. I'm like, bro, where's your dog been? I kept bothering this guy. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. dude, you're the man. I kept having yeah. to talk to him because he was so fucking funny. I'm like, <laughs> he had a dog in the bathroom? He had a dog in the bathroom. I'm like, bro, and he, he, you know, this has been. 9 30 a.m till one o'clock now and there was a dog in the bathroom he the was with time. his dog Guy with the shoes off so i asked him i go bro where's your dog been he was like he's like first of all he's so bothered the fact that i'm coming up to talking to him he goes in my car and i was just like <laughs> okay i was like nice dog man he was just like okay <laughs> i was like dude this guy fucking rules that guy sucks and he brought the dog in for the rest of the time and just like brought his dog into a thing and chill <laughs> this guy sucks did he fucking rules you should have beat his ass at the mindful fucking meeting no dude i was in the middle of the mind i was meeting. fucking next time they say close your eyes just sucker punch the <laughs> fuck out <laughs> no, of that, guy. that dude that is the, the best thing that happens the whole time this guy is just totally like totally impervious to you know i'm asking him questions I'm talking about his dog he's just like dude go the fuck away from me then towards the end of the day, we ate lunch. There's a bunch of geezers in there. We do the yeah. last mindfulness thing, and you hear all of a sudden our everyone's eyes are closed. And you hear, <laughs> I look up. It's just the fucking cock going, <laughs> looking up, laughing to nobody but himself, being like, <laughs> closes his eyes. <laughs> I'm like, dude, yes. you fucking rule. All right, that guy does Holding dog rule. with one hand, no shoes on, dog. I'm like, this dude is just doing whatever the fuck he wants. Wow, what was it like staring into the future? I was loving it. That's what I'm saying. I'm That's like, this nice. Dude, except I'd be way more welcoming, and I will probably wouldn't leave my dog in the car. You sure? In a freezing fucking. You sure? <laughs> For sure, dude. You've had some anger issues, and I've seen the way you handle canines. What are you talking about? I've seen you grip up. You well, you probably don't remember. I think you're blacked I've, out I've, on dope. <laughs> <laughs> I get high and beat my dogs. You get high, you get mad, dude. Mad McCusker. True, I dude. I've had I've had my fair share. Yeah, of but hunting. you worked through your issues. That's oh, good. I've been working them, dude. Have you broken? Have you gotten wild lately? No, I've been chilling, dude. Easy. Chill. I've gotten angry. Don't get me wrong. I've gotten fucking pissed. And I just, just sit there and just go like... The, the mindfulness thing actually helped a lot. I'm sure. That I'm helped sure it was big nice. time. I was in the car furious yesterday. About what? 
Yeah, my bae was just fucking remixing yeah. reality. She was fucking Spinderella of reality around me, just being like, I didn't say that. No, no, what I said was, and it just, dude, when they do an explanation of like, no, 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 I hear what you're saying, but when I was trying to say, and you're just like, that makes no fucking sense. You didn't do that. Yeah. But yeah, I was just sitting there. I was just closing my eyes, and I'm like, I'm just tired, babe. Just tired. Let me sit here yeah. for a second. Close my eyes and just relax. That, the, the changing an argument like that, my fucking roommate did that. And, cause he, he argues like that, like a lady. He's That's got, he's got major dog brain when it comes to brutal, arguments. Brutal, dude. He was like, I don't know. We were talking about, he, all they, they love, people from Boston, comics from Boston think that Boston comics are like, like they don't, they don't move to New York because it's so good up there. Like they don't even have to move. <laughs> it's like they. It's like what you just do local shows in Boston, the and they're rest? just the best. And they're the best. They're so good. <laughs> they, they, he's like, there's murderers up there. You would never, you know. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure there's. I know there's really good comics up there. Sure. But he was talking something about. I don't know. He named this female comic, and he was like, she would she would bury you on every show. Wow. And I was like, it's your hype. So I'm. I and first off, it was totally unprovoked. Like I was just literally just sitting there. Yeah. And he, I was like, no, she wouldn't. Like, no, she wouldn't. Yeah. On every show. Yeah, she would bury me. You think she would bury me on every Where show? Where should she be famous right now? Yeah, I was like, there's, it's like, I... They'd be remaking Ghostbusters again right now. Yeah. She, she could be the star. I was like, I do shows with the best comics in New York, and I don't get buried every show. Like, but there's every this show. sleeper, there's a sleeper babe in New York who that, no one's like, oh, can I please make a ton of money yeah. off you right now? And uh, so then... We're arguing about it because he wouldn't. He just wouldn't. I was like, "What are you fucking talking about, dude? Oh, no my way!" God. And then <laughs> that's so. Because I was like, "I've, I've went, I've gone on the road with like Jay. Big Jay is a monster in rooms. Yeah. And there's been times where he hasn't buried me. Sure. <laughs> like yeah. So it's not gonna be every time with this lady. And then Tommy came in and was like, "What the fuck are you guys arguing about?" And uh. Steve was instantly like, "Shane thinks a woman could never bury him." <sighs> And I was just like, S you little pussy. That oh. is not the argument. That is not the argument. Was Tommy a fair ump? What did he say? No, he was like, fucking, who gives a fuck? Man? It was Dude, just, I love that's his fucking take. Dude, who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was, in that case, very good point. Yeah. But <laughs> that's still funny. It's though. so funny to have someone just switch an argument on you mid argument. Be yeah. like, what are you guys fighting about? I'd be like, he said he would never get buried by a female comic. And I was like, bro, you know that's not what I said. And the argument was that this lady yeah. that no one's ever heard of would bury me every single time. You're out yeah, of your it's element. Exactly. He flipped. He literally flipped yeah. the whole argument. Yeah. That's a whole argument for a whole other day. Yeah. I mean, but, you're like, well, no, that, that's true also, but. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, nah, there's, yeah. there's some killers out there. There are. There's some of killers course. out there, dude. Of course. There's buried. I've seen it. The whole fucking I've it, seen it. They bury you, dude. They get me every once in a while. Every, no, every fucking show, dude. 100% burying is strong. That's a strong argument. Yeah. 100% burying of anybody is a strong argument. I just love two dudes fighting and another guy being like, who gives a fuck? And everyone's like, I guess we can end this Yep. Now. Well, also, I was like, that's what I said. But I'm not going to let somebody say something ridiculous. Yeah. And Especially in your sit house. There. Yeah. In your I'm house? just sitting here. I'm just trying to play a video game, You should game, start bro. encroaching into his bedroom a little bit and like yeah, kind of putting yeah. some of your stuff in there and being like, what's up? What's up, baby? What's good, dude? What's good? What's good? Damn, Matt. Uh, I got to go. I got to right, drive. get the fuck out of here. Um, before I go. What you got, baby? Do you got anything to plug, bro? No, man. Uh, uh, you, you got any programs for the dogs that they should be working on? I got some. We it's got some stuff. We got some stuff in the works, dude. There's, I got some serious stuff. This is a big. This is a big week for a lot of the dogs. Dude. You got to go back and confront. Well, you know what I'm working on right now is just be. I think you're pretty good with this. Just being friends with my parents and just fucking. Yeah. Just be, dude. When you get in that family, you just got to be the fucking the thing you're missing from the family. You got to be about that, family. dude. Exactly. It is. It is, dude. You got to go into that family and right those wrongs, baby. That's all I'm talking uh, about. You can see me getting buried. Uh, November 30th This fucking Saturday At Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie Fun time I'm bringing the turd The turd's the coming? turd's coming You're gonna hitch up the trailer And bring the turd? I'm trying to bring the turd To every show That's the turd, the turd was just out in Indy That's what's and up Did you Oh dude I gotta show I you saw the, I saw some pics The picture of him Standing in the middle of the, No all right, I saw him on the stage At at Helium, everyone's they'll take a picture with like the staff and the headliner and all the comedians that performed. Oh, okay, and they took this one in Indianapolis, and it is 
It's probably my favorite turd. It's most. It's peak turd. You've got a lot of good turd photography and videos, dude. Peak turd, dude. Whoa, he's front and center. <laughs> he was the middle. He was the middle act. <laughs> <laughs> he's standing in the middle. Like, what is that? <laughs> Where are you? That I'm not in that. That's in Indianapolis. He was out there by. He was out with Santino. Oh, so the turd got the out turd, there and sucked up the line. You, even, you didn't even know Santino was in that picture. The headliner's Where is in Santino? the back, back over his right shoulder. Oh my god, dude! dude the the turd. headliner's just in the back. O'Connor's front and center. <laughs> Dude, I love that. Oh, man. That made me laugh so much when I saw that. Oh, that's so tight. Just turd stole vintage thunder. turd. Dude, that's great. Follow a Chris O'Connor on Instagram. Do. Please um, do. Oh, yeah. This Friday. Little secret. Little secret for the dogs to know about. Uh, so there's the Creeps with Kids tour. You ever hear mm-hmm. about it? It's yeah, like yeah. Bobby Kelly, Voss, Florentine, and Bennington. They're going to be in Harrisburg on Friday. So I'm going to drop in and Might the kid pop in I'm going to drop in and do some stand up At the Whitaker Center Which is That's If you're from Central PA That's, that's a, big That's big That's where You know there's It's half a science building For field trips That's what's up dude <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be tight It's, gonna, it's a big moment Dude that's going to be You're going to go in there You're going to go in there And fucking Smash Yeah It should I hope so You will That's my bro. fucking Bro you're going to go in there And smash uh, 13th and 14th Worcester, Massachusetts. You should do the Bernie Mac. Do you go in there? Oh, Bernie I Mac? ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. They're like, what? Why, why would you be mean? Uh, why do you have Africa on your jeans? <laughs> <laughs> December 20th and 21st, uh, Good Nights, Raleigh, North Carolina. The turd will be there. Beezer will be there. Uh, and then 27th, 26th, 27th, 28th of December, McGooby's Joke House. I think the turd and Beezer will be with me there, too. God. Although Beezer's on thin ice after he showed his ass last night. Really? Beezer <laughs> might not be making some of these gigs after you that. You think he went a little too hard? Yeah. But too, that happens. That happens. I mean, who am I to... Come on. He went too hard in the paint? Who am I to judge? Oh, that's so funny. Who am I to judge? But yes. That's so funny. It's tough. With... And, you know, it's annoying when I talk shop about comedy. No, but people like it, dude. You know how it is when you go, like, in, in a new scene? hmm Like... If you're an outside comic going into a different city and hanging out with like an open mic scene, they're looking to hate you. For sure. They want to hate you. For sure. Now, Especially everybody's if you're doing nice. well. Everybody's nice. Well, they, yeah. But Beezer just came in. Him and Shaner were just fucked up. Just like, you stink. <laughs> like being dickheads. And to was, other people? I was like, damn, bro. To other people being, you fucking stink. Well, yeah. I mean, he was judging a roast battle. Oh, was with, he really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, but he got hammered. <laughs> he was hammered, he just talking shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh my! Everyone was like, "What? Why are you saying it like that?" Yeah, it was funny. Oh my god, they gotta stop those roast battles, dude. That's not fucking. That's good. That's bad energy, dude. Uh yeah, yeah. So put him up there and be like, "Fuck yeah, you! You're fucking fat." <laughs> it's like, Ugh. Yeah, it's like right. getting a fat chick up there and everyone calling her fat. It's kind of yeah. Mean. Yeah, I don't know. Not my uh, mind, bro. But yeah, the turd. And Beezer should be with me at all those, so that'll be That's fun. What's up. Getting the getting the turd out on the road. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, yeah, get the showcase the turd. Dude. Getting the turd out on the road is great, dude. It, it's got to be the best. It's fun. It's really fun. The turd is it, an ample road dog, dude. He's a turd's, road terrier. The turd's dude. the ultimate road terrier. <laughs> he he's a loyal terrier <laughs> for sure. If you're like fucking sad or something, he'll lay at your feet, dude. He's fucking great. Yeah. I love O'Connor. Yeah. The Beezer, him and the Beezer will be a fun match. Ooh. Get them both out there. Get fucked up. It's two demons on the road. <laughs> yeah. God um, damn. But yeah, other than that, please, you know, take time to really be thankful for your family. For sure. What are you thankful for, Matt? More than anything? Pot. <laughs> Pot's sick, yeah. For sure. You thankful for dope? Thankful for dope. All right. Thankful for my little baby girl coming. Wow. I'm excited for that. So I can show her dope and all her friends. You better stop doing dope when the kid gets here. I'm telling you that right now, dude. It's, I'm, I'm telling Matt, you. I'm gonna once ask you week. one thing. No, once if, a week is too if much. If you if you do that, if you hit the couch, <laughs> eat a kefi crawler, <laughs> I'll die. And take down take two ecstasy. volcano bags. I'll take ecstasy and lay on the couch. That's fine. Can I do that instead and, of the weed? And one volcano bag. No volcano bag. Yeah, hell yeah. You can do ecstasy and lay on my couch whenever you want. All right, sick. Hell yeah. Yo, I'm thankful for man. you, dude. I'm thankful for you. I'm for thankful sure, for you. Bro. Don't even yes. do. Don't even mention it. Um, All right. Happy Thanksgiving. You too, bro. All right. Later.